What's up, y'all? We're back with another live. I apologize. I might be doing a lot of coughing. I haven't been feeling the best the past couple of days. I think I'm getting a cold, but I haven't been alive in a couple of days, so I wanted to get some airtime. I wanted to work on the MCD some more. I haven't been really seeing anybody doing any lives. Um, I know there's going to be probably a few lives going on later on this evening, so I wanted to get mine knocked out, do a little bit early while I'm feeling well enough to go ahead and knock a live out. But as always, see who we got up in here so far. Claim here, first in the house. What's going on? My man, Hot Rod 67. What's up, my brother from another mother? James Jameson, good to see you. Xavier's RC Adventures in the house. David Butler, how you doing? Good to see you. My man GWT, what's up? Good to see you guys. I know it's Saturday, Saturday afternoon. I really don't like to do lives on the weekends because there's usually never really a lot of people online, but I wanted to work on the MCD some. And while I work on it, I like to have it on video so I can go back see what i've done on it when i review my videos awesome fishing man good to see you emily how you doing just reading through the comments gwt you're killing me buggies and chuggies what's going on good to see you <laughs> xavier's no problem yeah, I've got some stuff I got to do today. I am going to be a host on another live feed. My man, uh, Keith Jenkins, is going to be live 6.30 this evening. Um, I will be a guest on his live. He's going to be doing uh, basically like a, a little interview of me and my thoughts on YouTube, you know, stuff like that. So if that kind of stuff interests you guys, definitely, definitely. I hope my community stops in, show some love to Keith Jenkins. We're always trying to help everybody grow, build their communities. As I always say, I got one of the greatest communities out there. It always shows. I always appreciate everybody supporting the channel. Um, 
the last live feed I did, we installed the aluminum center section on the uh, MCD buggy. Uh, today, I'm going to try to knock out and get uh, the upper front brace and the rear brace on. Um, I am on the stream yard. If anybody wants to come up on the panel while I work. I probably ain't going to do a whole ton of talking unless there's questions asked and all that good stuff. So, um, but, uh, yeah, I just wanted to get some airtime work on, work on the MCD a little bit since I haven't been live in a few days. Wanted to see what everybody's been up to. I know it's getting cold out. People are getting snow. It's getting close to Christmas. Everybody's out doing their Christmas shopping. So live feeds have been slim to none with pretty much everybody out there. There's really no content flying around or anything. So um, I do my lives regardless whether I have five people or, you know, 50 people. So I'm really not always worried about the numbers. If people see that I'm live, they'll come in. If they're not online, then they'll have to go back and rewatch it if they so choose. But uh, we're continuing on with the MCD. Like I said, we've already done the uh, aluminum center section. We did the top brake plate. Only thing that I issue that I had with the top brake plate, they don't give you the proper um, mounting hardware to mount it so what i ended up having to do was get the size of the bolts from big john d uh chris todd rc ohio those guys all have mcds they knew right away what everything was what i needed lucky enough i was able to go to home depot and they had all the mounting hardware in stock that fit it so i was able to get the hardware get that mounted Osborne RC, welcome. Hopefully you're doing well. I caught your live feed that you did the other night. Good stuff. I wasn't able to stay in long, but I was able to uh, watch a little bit of it. Dave's poems, what's going on? Dodgers, how you doing? David Butler, yeah, I've looked at the new Nova engines. Uh, Brent Bones from Bones Motorsports is going to be the U.S.-based distributor for them engines. I've done a lot of research on them. They seem pretty good. The only misconception everybody has, everybody thinks that those are the new Nova Rossi's. The Nova company is not associated with the original Nova Rossi. That's the one misconception that everybody has. Those engines are not Nova Rossi engines. It's a whole different company called Nova. It's not Nova Rossi. I've been seeing a lot of people posting on Facebook about that, saying, hey, has everybody heard Nova Rossi's back? Nova Rossi's making engines again? It is not Nova Rossi. I've actually talked quite extensively with the owner of that company, emails back and forth. Um, because what they did is they did their on-road stuff first and then jumped over into the A-scale off-road. And they're finally starting to release the A-scale off-road engines. My man, Jeremy Thornton in the house. What's up, buddy? Good to see you. Um, I'm probably not going to be as upbeat as I normally am. Like I said, I got a cold. So I'm just trying to chill out, relax, see what everybody's up to. Thompson's RC in the house. What's going on? RC Loco, what's good, my man? It was good to see you yesterday. Hopefully everybody's doing well. But, uh, yeah, we're going to work on the new MCD today for a little bit. Um, I am on the stream yard. If anybody wants to come up on the panel and BS, I can drop the link. Everybody's encouraged to come up on the panel if you want to. If not, don't make a difference. Um, I haven't used my stream yard for the last couple of lives. I've just been doing it through the regular YouTube. But as always, I hate streaming through the regular YouTube because there's always a lot of lag and it glitches a lot. So we decided to use the stream yard today. Um, I'm still deciding on 
what color I'm going to paint the body. Nope, I don't want to lose that pin. Shit, where did that go? I'm going to head that pin up there on this. Give me a second, guys. I'm going to find... Find that pin. I don't know where the hell it dropped to. But that's not good because I need that pin. This is one of the body pins. Give me a second. We'll find out where the hell that dropped to. Probably fell underneath the chair. Or up underneath the car. There it is. I definitely don't want to lose that. I found it. But, uh, still working on deciding what color I'm going to do the body. That will come soon once I get it all washed, taped off, and all that. Um, one thing I do want to say, guys, when you guys buy bodies, make sure you guys peel off the protective layer. I've seen some dumbasses out there buy bodies, put stickers on them, and not take the protective covering off. Usually you can always find one of the corners, as you see there, where it's lifted. See where it separates from the clear body? All right, that's where you can snag the plastic, peel it up, and take it off. Um, I've seen people take bodies, put all their stickers on, and then when they start to see a fold on the clear plastic, peel it up and pull off all their damn stickers. Um, I seen a video the other day where somebody did that. Um, it was kind of fucking hilarious because you always got them people that think they know what they're doing and end up doing some dumb shit like that. But pay attention. Most all clear bodies that are paintable have a protective covering on the body. And a lot of the reason for that is, is so that the Lexan doesn't get scratched up in shipping or when you paint the inside, the overspray doesn't get on the outside. So any overspray that gets on the outside of the body, when you peel the plastic covering off, you have a nice clear body. Um, I see we got more people joining us. Let me go back through, see everybody that's coming in, anybody that I missed. My man Shadow Ops in the house. What's going on, my brother? Good to see you. Freaking Oracle Show. How you doing? Good to see you. My man Pokerasi in the house. Good to see you. Katie Southern Sounds. How you doing? Welcome. Looks like we got a couple of new people. Good to see everybody. Hopefully everybody's doing well. Always, always appreciate the support from the community. I always appreciate my super chatters, my viewers, all that good stuff. I appreciate you guys coming in. I know it's Saturday. Normally, I never do live feeds on Saturdays because on Saturdays, everybody's busy. Everybody's got stuff to do. But I haven't been live in a couple of days. Really, for the month of December and pretty much the whole month of November, I ain't really been doing a whole lot of lives because I've had a lot of other stuff um, going on where I've been busy. But. Now that I've got the new MCD, did the unboxing and all that, now it's time to work on it and uh, start getting stuff done. Freaking Oracle Show. I had an RC boat a while back ago. Um, I had one of the Zip It kits. I sold it. I never ended up building it. Had a brand new Rossi engine for it and all that. So I am a little familiar with the boats. My man Thompson RC, just for Nitro. I appreciate that, brother. Thank you. Thank you very much. My first donation of the day, kicking it off. I appreciate that, brother. This is for you, my man. Thank you. Thank you very much for that donation. I appreciate it, brother. So I always love the support I get from all my community, whether I'm live every day or every so many days, always people showing the love. I appreciate that. 
RC local, how cold is it out in our in NC today? It's like uh, 39, 40 degrees. I mean, that's not bad for some people, but for here, that's cold. That's cold for here. So um, naturally, I'm done running for the year. There won't be any more running, but that's why I'm trying to do live feeds to still keep the content pumping. GWT, I appreciate you dropping Thompson RC's link. If anybody would like their links dropped, just ask my moderators. I'm sure they will be much obliged to help you guys out. My man, Poker Rossi, following that donation up. You're the man, Nitro. I appreciate that, my man, Poker Rossi. Always a big supporter of my channel. Thank you, thank you very much, brother. This is for you, my man. Awesome, awesome support. My brother from another mother, my man, Poker Rossi. Always, always showing love. Thank you, thank you very much, brother. Um, so, yeah, that's kind of what I've been up to. Like I said, I haven't been really pumping out the lives. I don't like to be sick and coughing a lot and all that stuff, but um, I very rarely, rarely ever get sick. But I don't know if it's a cold or the start of the flu or whatever, but it is that that time of the year, the season and all that. So, um, I will try my best to not be hacking all over the place. <laughs> Shadow Ops Birdhouse Fund. <laughs> you guys are killing me with that stuff. But, uh, I'll give you guys uh, a little quick, quick overview of what we've gotten done on the mcd so far i always like to just reshow the progress as we go down through um so you know the, one of the very first things we did was the uh the top plate there uh, let me remove this off the screen so you guys can see it real quick okay we did the top plate and then this down bar in aluminum stock comes with plastic. Didn't like it. Wanted to do with the aluminum. Um, we did the uh, rear hubs, aluminum hubs. After that, I really like those hubs. All right. They came out nice. Then after that, we ended up um, doing the MCD aluminum center section towers. And then we did the uh, top brake plate. Now, the only thing that I had an issue with with the top brake plate, like I said, is the mounting hardware that they give you. Um, or at least, you know, I, I don't know if it was packaged wrong or whatever, but out of the six screws that they give you, only two was able to be long enough to catch the threads in the center section. So I just went to Home Depot, uh, matched them up, and... Um, Got the mounting hardware that I needed. It worked out perfect. Uh, I can show you guys the ones that I got. So these were the packages. They were an M4 7 by 50 are the long ones that had to go in. Okay, then the two, the two short ones were an M4 0.7 by 16 millimeter, which were these ones that had to be counter soak. The, uh, all the long ones that they give you in the package were Phillips, and I was able to get the right ones long enough and changed them over to a, um, a hex design. So I like that design much better, but uh, like I said, I was able to get all the stuff um, at Home Depot. I keep the packages just in case I need those part numbers for a later date um today i'm going to try to do the brace that goes from here to here and then the brace that goes from here uh to here which is all in this package right here now the only thing i don't know hopefully the mounting hardware that is in here is correct 
Um, all the other mounting hardware so far that I've had for the other stuff was all correct, but I did have, like I said, um, when you buy the brake plate, the top brake plate itself doesn't come with any hardware. The hardware that comes with the aluminum center section is the hardware that is used on the top brake plate to mount it to the aluminum center section. So naturally, I had to go to Home Depot and get the correct hardware to fit that amputee rc welcome what's going on good to see you it's been a little while i appreciate everybody hitting the thumbs up on the video if you're able to share this out on your community tab please do so it helps out the channel those of you that are leaving donations again thank you thank you very much always much appreciated uk medic in the house what's going on appreciate you smashing that thumbs up brother like I said, there's going to be, you know, other lives going on. So I wanted to kind of do my live a little early today since a lot of people have been asking me when I was going to go live next. So um, I just wanted to work on the MCD a little bit instead of just sitting in the house. My man, Leroy Mano. My God, it's been a while since I've seen you, brother. Hopefully you're doing well, you good freak. I know you bringing a beast to life, bro. Nice. Leroy Mano, my man, always a pleasure to see you. You've always been a hard charger supporter of my channel from back in the day when I first started my channel. I don't see you a whole lot like I used to. I know you're always busy over there in the UK. Hopefully you're doing well, my man. It's always a pleasure to see you come in. It has been a long time, man. Hopefully you're doing well. Definitely, definitely good to uh, good to see you, brother. But yeah, so for those of you that are new coming into the channel, we did a live feed about, I don't know, it's been almost, uh, I don't know, close to a week ago now. We purchased the new MCD Fiscale Gas Buggy, the uh, RR5 Max Pro. Um, we picked up a bunch of parts for it. We picked up a new Taylor engine. We ended up getting a new... A new access stand, as you see, the 5T is still sitting on the access stand. But uh, that's kind of my my thing for today. Um, again, I am on the stream yard, so if anybody wants to come up on the panel BS while I work, um, you guys are more than welcome to. Just let me know if anybody wants to come up on the panel. Yeah, amputee RC. I've got a cold. Um, so I'm not feeling the greatest. I'm all stuffed up. I can't breathe. Coughing like crazy. But I was just going to wait till I got better to continue on. But I've been anxious and excited to keep working on the MCD. But if I wait till after I get better from this cold, who knows how long that'll be. So I don't like to work on it unless I'm on camera because, you know, it's good content. Good content for you guys that get to see, you know, everything that I'm that I'm doing. Um, I did do the electronics and the radio tray already. I didn't get none of that on camera because I was working on that late at night. John Paul, what's going on, my man? Good to see you. Yeah, man, I know just work and kids, but I'm here. I'm still here, bro. I appreciate that, Leroy. Appreciate that very much. Yeah, I know amputee RC. I sound like hell. <laughs> Excuse me, guys. Damn. Like I said, usually, usually about this time of year, I always catch the common cold. I hate it that it's right before Christmas and all that, but you know how we do. I ain't going to let that get me down. Not at all. John Paul, hopefully you're doing well. I appreciate everybody taking time out of their Saturday to stop in. Um, I'm going to try and see if maybe I can get this camera set up here, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this pointed down enough where you guys are going to be able to see what I'm doing. I'm going to have to bring this OCD a little bit closer to me and it's kind of hard with the, the 
this screen up from the hood. We're going to try this the best we can. Get it angled. Let me see if I can change the, uh, what you call it, the view. Let's see if we can zoom it in a little bit. I'll try to keep an eye on the chat, or if people are leaving super chats and all that, I can keep up with doing a little thank you notes, keeping an eye on the chat. I will drop the link here in a minute if anybody wants to come up on the panel. You guys are more than welcome. David Butler, uh, a Taylor RC engine is going in it. Um, if you go back to... The unboxing video. Oh no, wait a minute. That's that's zooming out. I guess I'm zoomed in as much as I can get. I need to go back to uh, let me see. Lens, linear, narrow. Yep. All right. That's about as much as I'm gonna be able to to zoom in. I might be able to drop a cam down some to bring it a little bit closer angel kiss what's going on shiki rc racing good to see you hopefully you're doing well gwt leaving you up gotta go to the shop for a few i will be in and out all right my man always a pleasure gwt appreciate you supporting the channel thank you thank you very much let me try something here guys let me see if i can get this um this let's see if this will bring bring us down a little bit closer i think we got a little bit closer not a whole lot but we're gonna do the best we can um which i think that's gonna be about as close as we can get so i'm gonna open up this package parts out we got no energy today good lord <coughs> I hate being sick coughing and hacking and all that crap but you guys are just gonna have to bear with me it is what it is so this is one of the new top plates and this is gonna go like this from there it's gonna go on there like that and then it's got a section another brace that connects it so that's gonna end up going right there like that There's the mounting hardware and everything coming out of the bag This is the other aluminum piece that's going to have to mount. This little square is going to mount right there as an extension. Hopefully I have the right screws in the bag. I'm going to have this section right here. Which is going to let uh, it mount underneath. If I'm correct. But I may end up having to take that top brake plate back off. I don't know. Because it doesn't want to go in. So I'm going to slide in like that. I'm going to have to. Maybe I'll have to angle it. This might have to be pulled up. You know, I might have to loosen up that brake plate. Because I know the screws go to the top and then feed into that. If I can, I just can't angle this enough. When it's got to go in the top. There we go. Okay. So then the screws are going to go in there on that. Like that. And that brace is going to go there. Put the long ones in there. And mount that up. Shoe sniffer in the house. What's going on? Nitro Freak, be careful because the King Flu zaps your energy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll be honest. I don't have any freaking energy today. 
no energy today, but I'm not a couch potato. I didn't want to just sit in the house doing nothing. Like I said, I wanted to get out here, work on the MCD for a little bit, get some stuff done. Uh, let me get this now the part where I open, see what we got. We'll do that back piece first. And I'm sure, I know these are the long screws that got to go in there, like that, like so. Let's just make sure that they're going to go all the way through. The holes lined up. Okay. I always like to test fit everything before I lock it all down. I just want to make sure they go all the way down and in, which they will. Make sure they're not crazily sticking out the bottom. Grab the three millimeter. That's one thing I've always learned in this hobby. I always test fit everything. Make sure everything runs down and goes the way it's supposed to. So they go down. Fit nicely. All that good stuff. Not a problem. That mounts it there like that. Uh, then I need the two, two short ones, it looks like. I think these are all the same size. Let me match up all these screws real quick. Make sure they're all the same length. So there's like six of them. And they are all the same length. I think one's going to go there. So, I can loosen these up a little bit so that this thing can move a little bit. Alright, there's one. And I'll take them out one at a time and lock tight them. All right, Katie, I appreciate you stopping in. Thank you. Thank you very much. It was a pleasure to see everybody. You know, it's Saturday. People got things to do. All right. Okay. Take the loose of these up. Pop these out. Put a little bit of lock tight on them. I'm going to grab my Loctite real quick. Shake this stuff up. That's about good enough. We're just going to put a slight dab of Loctite on it. We're not going to damn. Goop it on there. Because I have seen people do that. You don't want to put too much. Put just enough. To get it to. Nice and tight. If there's any excess that pushes out, which I went kind of high up on the threads, which it's all right. That cleaned it off. You can push out a little bit. We want to make sure. My man Keith Jenkins in the house. What's going on, Keith, my brother? Good to see you. I was telling everybody, mentioning earlier, I'll be a guest on your live feed. Tonight, 6.30. <coughs> I apologize about all the coughing, guys. Like I said, I did catch a cold. 
I am getting a little bit sick, so it kind of sucks. I hate being, I hate being sick. Great farmer freelance in the house. What's going on, my man? Good to see you. Homeboy RC in the house. Well, I'm trying to keep an eye on the chat. Big shout out to everybody that's been donating today. Thank you very much for that, guys. It's always much appreciated. Stuff like that should be a good, good, interesting live. So for those of you that are free, 6.30 tonight, and you're able to catch it, please come and show my man Keith Jenkins some love. I like to spin everything, make sure nothing is bound up. All right, everything's good. One more little twist. So I take this last bolt. So thank God. So far. The hardware for all that stuff is working. It is correct. Hopefully everybody's having a good Saturday. Like I said, I wanted to knock out a live feed just to work on this new platform for a little bit. Makes some great, good content. We're going to talk about that tonight on Keith Jenkins' live feed. What makes a good channel a good channel? What brings people in? Good following, having content, all that good stuff. Let's make sure everything's bound up, everything's moving freely. So there's that brace there. My man, Great Farmer Freelancers. Thanks, Nitro. I appreciate that donation, my brother. Thank you. Thank you very much, my man. You've always been a great supporter of the channel. This is for you, my man. My man, Great Farmer Freelance, once again, I appreciate that, brother. Thank you. Thank you very much. Mr. Sendin RC in the house. What's going on, my man? Yeah, this is another new kit. This is the one I was telling you about a while back ago that I was waiting on. I had it ordered, and it took forever to get it. Natural Freak have all the rebuild parts for SH-18 getting here today. Finally can rebuild it, get rid of the Vertex piece of crap that's on it. Ah, okay, Shadow Ops. Matt, I've been getting a lot of questions about your uh, your new engine that's supposed to be coming out. I need to call you later on today and uh, talk to you about that. We've got, got some people that will be interested in uh, the new engine you're going to be releasing. <laughs> Oh, trust me, <laughs> Nitro Freezes. 
So Nitro, I need your money. Shit. Matt, I need your money. You're the one that owns a damn business. I want to show you guys, too, since I know I haven't shown it a lot. But these, I know y'all didn't get to see me do the radio tray, but I do love. So we picked up the Send It RC Fist Scale Servo for the steering. And then we got one of the Platinum 626s for the throttle. So you guys know Send It RC Servos is all I use and all my stuff. I'll never go back to anything else. Then we'll talk more about the, the radio tray. I've been trying to get me some of them fist scale servos for a while. For a while, but I had to save up for them. And I was finally able to get me some of the fist scale ones that come out. Business owners are broke. All the money goes to the business. Yeah, Matt, that's true. That's true, my man. <laughs> <coughs> <clears throat> Damn. Sorry about that, guys. This fucking cold is kicking my ass. But, uh, yeah, man, I got to talk to you, man. I got to find out what do I got to do to get one of them engines from you. Because I want to start bringing back nitro, nit nitro content. So everybody knows, you know, every year during christmas and my birthday i usually always buy myself you know a big christmas present to myself a big present you know on my birthday so my christmas present to myself was this fist scale mcd buggy but this is going to be the last fist scale that i buy for a while for my birthday my plan is to i want to pick up one of the wrc nitro buggies that's that's going to be the next thing up on the chopping block because this year coming up we got to do nitro we took we took off all this year of doing nitro um you know we focused on the fist scale stuff and i know a lot of people have been asking me am i going to get back in to nitro I'm going to get back into Nitro, guys. I never left it. I just took a little bit of a break from it because I wanted to do something um, a little bit different, you know. So I wanted to do one last fist scale. But this year coming up, you know, once it starts getting warmer and everything, you know, all my Nitro stuff has just been sitting on the shelf. I haven't bought. Matter of fact, Really, the last newest engine I ever bought was a year ago um, when I got the uh, the Alpha Dragon engine that I purchased from my man Matt Sended RC. So the next engine I want to get, he's going to be coming out with his own engine, and that's that's going to be my my first newest thing in Nitro. Is I would love to get one of his one of his engines and then um i want to get one of the wrc platforms i've been talking about it for a while i've always had the low c stuff i wanted to step into something different that was one of the big reasons why i got the mcd buggy you know i've got the low c5t we got the outlaw we got the baja and i've always been a diehard low c fan now granted because the low c 5b was discontinued and i wanted to have a, a buggy is the only thing i didn't have in the fist scale arsenal now that i have one you know that's that's it for me in the fist scale realm for a while for a while so the next purchase is going to be nitro stuff i haven't picked up anything nitro new in probably about a, you know, it's probably been maybe about a year and a half. Um, well, no, maybe not that long. I know it's been a year, maybe a year and a month or two. Because the, the last newest Nitro thing that I ever got was the Alpha Dragon engine. <sighs> but, um, Addict RC, what's going on? Yankee Kyle, good to see you. Let me drop the link if anybody wants to come up 
on the panel. You guys are more than welcome to. I keep forgetting to drop the link. There's the link to come up on the panel. If anybody wants to come up on the panel, you're more than welcome to. Maybe we can get Mr. Sended RC up on the panel for a little bit. It is Saturday. Well, I don't know if he's working today. Eric RC hit 1K subs. Nice. Congratulations. You're growing. You're growing. Congratulations on hitting 1K. Wish I could shake this cold up a little bit. Get rid of this cold. But, um, all right, so we got this brace installed. Now we're going to do the front one. Like I said, I just like to do this stuff on cam, share it with everybody. Want to get a new A-scale buggy, but not sure if I want to stay with TLR. David Butler, I'll tell you. Look into the WRC stuff. The WRC platforms are really, really good. Matt Kennedy, Mr. Send it RC, who's in here, he is the U.S.-based distributor for the WRC platforms. They are a really, really quality, good platform. He can get you anything you need. I know it's taken me a long time to try to steer away from the TLR stuff, but I know everybody's always asked me that. If I was ever to get a different A scale buggy. Because I thought about getting the new TLR 2.0 buggy that came out. But I decided not to. Why get another TLR when the TLRs I have now are still in really great shape. Got a lot of life left on them. I just couldn't justify getting another one. But the next, the next Nitro I do is going to be something outside the realm of TLR. And it will be a WRC. I talked about them a lot in the past, just at the time when I wanted to get one. Things didn't fall into place the way I'd hoped. So I had to, you know, hold off. But now that things are coming together, it is time to pull the trigger on one of them. It is time to pull the trigger on one of them. And, of course, you guys know I'm always pushing the Send it RC servos. I'm always pushing all of Matt's products, his tools, everything I possibly can. Speaking of that, too, guys, for those of you guys that are wanting the new Nitro Freak T-shirts that I showed on the channel the other night, he's ready to start making T-shirts. So if you guys want T-shirts, you guys need to get your orders in. Get your, pick your sizes, get your orders in. Start getting them t-shirts ordered. Yeah, Amputee RC, a lot of people have been asking if WRC is coming out with a Truggy. Naturally, I'm sure they will in time. They just don't have one right now, but I'm sure they're probably working on ideas for it and all that good stuff. So in time, I'm sure you'll see a WRC Truggy. If anybody wants to come up on the panel, I'll drop the link. You're more than welcome to hit up that link. Let me take one of these screws out of here. I guess I need to match these up with one of these. This one out too. Let's put in this other plate. I have to take these screws out to be able to get the new ones in. I 
I miss Shane always seeing that. We got the best of the best of the best. <laughs> Amputee RC, yeah, I've looked at the new the new Ogama. I've seen some pictures floating around the internet. I've never really big been big into the Agamas. Like I said, I've always been a huge, huge TLR fan. Um, so naturally, that's what I've pretty much always stuck with. Let's see if we can get this brace locked down. Because there is a bracket up on the roof here that has to go in at the same time. Give me a second, guys. I'm going to make sure this bracket underneath is lined up where it needs to go. I know my man Hot Rod was saying something about these screws might be a little bit too long where they were locking up the front diff. So I'm not going to drive these all the way down. I'm just going to drive them a bit. And then twist and turn. To make sure nothing is locking up. Drag them down equally a little bit at a time. I always have to check to make sure nothing's binding. Okay. We're a little over halfway there. Like I said, I don't know if everybody, normally I don't do a whole lot of wrenching streams because I like to pay attention to the uh, the chat, see what everybody's up to. What's everybody think of the uh, the wrenching streams? Is people like to watch this kind of stuff or do you like it better where I just sit and talk about things? I always like to get the feedback of my people. Because that's one thing about YouTube. And content you always want to try to make sure that you're giving your people content that they like to watch again I appreciate everybody hitting the thumbs up on the stream and if you're able to please share it out to your community tabs if you would Shane I appreciate that Kyle I'm doing good doing good Tensions down some more. I hate it that they use. Fill up screws because I may have to end up taking these out. Those might be too long. Hopefully they're not. I don't want to go too much. I want to keep making sure that those screws don't protrude into the inner diff case. You end up locking up the front diff. They're almost, almost locked down. I'm still going to put this back piece on to kind of back this up a little bit because I'm going to press down. I don't want this thing flying off the stand. So I'm kind of trying to hold the buggy in my hand as I lock, lock these down. I think that's about as far as they're going to go. 
probably going to have to put the uh, short ones in because it feels like they bottomed out. I know Hot Rod was telling me about that when he was doing his. But when I matched up the screws to the original ones, they weren't much longer, just a smidge. But this one feels like it's already locked down and it's not all the way in. But I don't really want to have to force it. Which I'm not going to do that. I'm going to take this back out. I'm going to put the shorter ones in. Just to be on the safe side. Just to be on the safe side. We'll do it like that. We'll put the other ones. Put the original ones back in. Because there's only like a two or three thread difference. Let me match these up again. heads better than these cold ones. Because there's not much not much length difference. Still turning free, no binding. All right, there we go. Now I'm gonna put that plate on the top, which is basically an extension plate. I think the extension plate probably goes up underneath since these are threaded. And I guarantee you those just go straight through. Those just go straight through. So yeah. That's what's gonna have to happen. So this is gonna go. Interesting to hold this. Can we simply get them started? Getting lined up is going to be the hard part. Fun times. I'm gonna have to do CK Hobby Shop in the house. What's going on, my man? Good to see you.
so I can angle it the way I need to. because the holes are too close. I'm try to flex the blood loop. to those two consoles, but that ain't gonna work because these aren't, this one should be two four left. All right, give me a second, yo. Get the, all this other hardware cleaned up. So many bags of hardware that I'm not using because you got to use all the hardware that they give you. Replacing hardware, which a lot of stuff comes out. Drop the link to the panel again if anybody wants to come up for a few. on the comments, see if I missed anything. Board and RCA, I appreciate that. This is both are great live wrenching and just the talking. All right, cool, cool. Bear with me for a minute, guys. I'm checking something really quick. Stream seems to be lagging a little bit for me. That's a Saturday stream for you with a little bit of lag. A little bit of lag. A little bit of lag didn't hurt nobody though. Jeremy Thornton, you working today or are you off? How long have we been streaming? About an hour. Not bad, not bad. We got to figure out how to get the gap between this that I need to. That part is close. It's almost like I have to spread this some because this isn't going to go. A lot of 
up on them holes. If I have to do this, I'll just get longer screws with a nut at the bottom to use these holes. So that's what I mean of having to do. I may have to get some more hardware because this top plate is not going to line up. I don't have to ask Big John or Chris or Hot Rod. They'll line up perfectly there with them two holes, but not the threaded holes that it needs to be. This would have to be spread apart almost an inch. I'm not going to go yanking on that. So, yeah, that's part of Fiscal life. We'll figure out ways to make this stuff work, but we can get it. We ain't worried about it. That'll be an easy fix. I'll we'll have to find a screw that'll go through. I'll probably have some. I probably got some of these hardware bags. That'll probably work. Actually, I do. I just got to find some nylon lock washers to go on the bottom of them. I'm sure I got some somewhere. find out from them guys if that's but anyways just so you guys get an idea we got that got that brace on so that brace is done the problem I'm having is the, the plate where this plate mounts up as you can see I can show you guys this is supposed to go underneath but the holes are spread spread out way too much they're not going to line up so I may have to get some uh, screws and go through the center holes that aren't threaded. Put a cap screw on the bottom of them. Unless I'm doing something ass backwards, which I'm probably not. But the other guys have got the MCDs. I'm learning as I go along with this MCD stuff. I'm not familiar with it. I do like the challenge, without a doubt. But that's what happens when you're messing around with platforms that you're not familiar with. So eventually, I'll get it. It happens. David Model Shop, what's going on? Good to see you. Thompson's RC, have a good one. We'll see you on the next one. Like I said, I'm not going to run this for too long today. Wanted to get a little bit of this stuff done and figured out, but there's always a problem here and there. So it gives me something else that I got to figure out. I'm not going to mess with it. Too much today. I don't expect everything to go together right off, but. So, anybody want to come up on the panel and BS for a few? Shady, what's going on? Good to see you, my man. Appreciate everybody hitting that thumbs up. Thank you, thank you very much. Anybody getting any new RCs? Anybody working on anything besides me today? Moon over Miami in the house. What's going on, my man? I appreciate those that have been sharing this out. I see a couple of y'all been sharing the stream out. Thank you. Thank you very much for that. Let's see. We got four people that have shared it out so far. I do appreciate that. <laughs> Appreciate everybody hitting that thumbs up.
Yes, Aaron P. 6.30 p.m. Eastern time tonight. So it's almost 1 o'clock, so you're roughly six and a half hours. Night you a freak, recovering still and working on them parts I got here. We'll film the rebuild, and you got to check my latest flight vid. Did you post your latest flight vid, Shadow Ops? Because I haven't gotten any notification that you dropped any new content. I think YouTube's back to its old ways of uh, not giving out notifications. Because if you posted a, a I know the uh, uh, on UK Medic stream last night, you were talking about it. You were going to fly. I'll go directly to your channel this evening when I'm done with my live and uh, see if it's up there. Shane says, paint in living room at the moment. Wife has me on deadline for her second Christmas tree. Yeah. I feel for you there, Shane. Wouldn't want to be painting a house. That's never no fun. But sometimes it needs it. Not your freak I did, but I did not do a premiere. Okay, so it's just as a regular dropped video then, Shadow Ops. Is that how you did it? Oh, shit. Moon over Miami. I saw you were live earlier this morning. I was in watching for a little bit. Moon over Miami. I'm going to be on his uh, panel tonight. Keith's going to be doing an, an interview of me. I think that's how he's going to do it. Yeah, Shadow Ops, if it was only a four-minute vid, you don't have to put it in a premiere. That's that's kind of pointless, like you said. Yeah, I'm going to be the only one that he's going to have up on the panel for the first half of the stream. Then he'll open it up to others. At first, it's just going to be me. He's not opening it. He's not going to open it up to the public at first. It's going to be just, just me. Shady, were you live this morning? I didn't even get a notification that you were. My YouTube, again, has been all messed up. That's probably why I ain't got a whole lot of people in here today. Because I, I didn't even put out a notification. I know usually when I do notifications, there'll be 30, 40 people in here easy. Oh, okay, Big John. Twisting one off on the crusty chair. Big John D in the house. Chris one fifth RC. I was wondering if any of you guys were going to stop in. I'll see y'all over there in the Discord DSing. So I see you guys are all just lurking in the background. Nobody wants to get in and type and talk. It's like everybody on YouTube getting lazy lately. Do premieres you should do better than scheduled. Well, Shiki Racing, it all depends on if you drop a premiere how long it is. Usually if you're going to do a premiere, you know, try to have it 15, 20 minutes long if possible. But sometimes they can do really, really good, the premieres, because it allows people to come, <coughs> excuse me, come in the chat <coughs> and talk. Versus a regular dropped video, there won't be a chat room open. You can just watch the video when it's done, it's done. But with a premiere, you have the chat room option.
Hunting of stuff at J&J. What's going on? Good to see you. Well, it's up to 48 degrees now, Kyle. It was cold earlier, but the temperature's going up a little bit as it goes into the afternoon. It's not extremely cold. We don't have any snow here or anything. I'm going over Miami getting off work at 3.30. Nice, nice. Do 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 do. Let's see. We're at one hour fifteen minutes. We'll probably go for about another. I'll go for about another half hour or so. See if the chat picks up at all. We're staying steady at twenty, which isn't bad. Like I said, I didn't put out no notifications, so I don't expect to have a whole lot of people here because nobody know I was going live. Very rarely do I ever just go live and not put out a notification, but today I didn't even do a notification. I didn't even plan on going live, but I wanted to just so I could work on the MCD a little bit. But that means I got to find some damn... Bear with me for a minute, guys. I got to find some... Uh... Some nylon washer, nylon nuts. I gotta find me some nuts. Looks like a whole package of these. But those ones I feel are gonna be too big. Two, 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 two. Man, I gotta go through all my mounting hardware stuff. We get too much shit laying around. trying to find hardware. Oh, let me see what I got in the box over here. What do I got in the box? Hang tight for a minute, y'all. So it's always good to have extra hardware lying around. Sometimes you might need it. But I don't know if these are going to be the same thread size. I 
Actually, I think they are. Might get lucky. I can find a... Uh, what am I looking for? What am I looking for? What do I need? What do I need? What do I need? Do, 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 do. Bum, 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 bum. These are these. It's an M4 by 20. This might be a tad bit too long, but I only need two of them. Those might be it right there. We might get lucky. Give me a second. I gotta find a socket. No problem. All right, perfect size. That'll work. We may just have overcome this little issue. So I'm not going to need, uh, unless I could find some that are a little bit shorter. about the same size so need any of these don't need any of those can put all that stuff back up in there but let's see how long I'm take these anyways no. it ain't gonna work we're going to make it work. We're going to make it work. Overcome and adapt, as they say. Overcome and adapt. Yeah, I'm going over Miami. A lot of people been sick lately. A lot of people been sick. So let's try something. Hopefully. Hopefully.
Hey, you know what? I'm not going to need this stuff. I see what I was doing wrong. Was installing it in the wrong way. It happens. I'm trying to go long wise. So I don't like to work on shit when I'm sick. I'm not paying, I'm not paying attention to what the hell I'm doing. That was easy to figure out. It's one of those deep dee moments. All right, there we go. Sometimes you just got to slow down and think about what the hell you're doing. Pay attention. Pay freaking attention. Fingers too fat. There we go. So we see that guy up just a tad. So that this one. That's what we needed right there. And we can pull these back out one at a time and do the lock tight. No harm, no foul. All right, good stuff. Let your freak out of bounce. All right, no problem, my man, Shadow Ops. I appreciate you stopping in. Let me get this all locked back down, and then I'll show you what the final product looks like. I said that bracket wouldn't line up because I was trying to install it long ways instead of sideways, but shit happens. I ain't real worried about it. That's what happens when you're not paying attention. You're trying to do shit too fast. But eventually, I always get it figured out. Even I make mistakes. Like I said, I'm not familiar, real familiar with the uh, the MCD stuff. Mr. 2%, what's going on, my man? All right, let me get the lock tight. Let me put the camera back up top over here. Let me get this stuff loctited and you guys can see where we're at. So, we got the bracket. Now we got the bracket installed the right way underneath. So, there's that top piece we just did. We got this back piece done. All right, get done with this. We might start rolling on to do the aluminum hubs. So, there's where we're at so far. That's what we've done today. Front, rear bracket is coming along. Let me stick this back up on top of the truck for a minute. Let me just get these bolts. 
lactated. Start this one. Like I said, I always like to test fit everything. A little bit of Loctite, not much. I'm going to make the change bag at the bar, and then I'm going to do a little bit of Christmas shopping, okay? All righty. I love you. Love you, too. Bye. 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 <coughs> 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 oh. Yeah, crap. Wife's going Christmas shopping. My ass is staying here. My man Dion, what's going on? Once again, appreciate everybody that's been leaving the super chats. Thank you very much. Those of you that are taking time out of your Saturday to come hang out in here, I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Much appreciated to everybody. Like I said, I don't do many wrenching streams. That'll be it. The braces are all done. That's it for that. Two more projects down. Take a Q-tip. A little bit of lock tape from out of the top of the threads. Get that cleaned up with a Q-tip. I know them things ain't coming out of there. Dion, hopefully you're doing well today. Good to see you. Does anybody want to come up on the panel? I am on the stream yard. I've dropped the link a few times. I guess nobody's interested in coming up on the panel today, which is all right if nobody doesn't want to. I don't give it give a shit. I gotta go through clean up the damn toolbox today. All right, so that's where we're at, guys. All right, let me do another quick rundown. As you've already seen it, but I'll show it one more time again. Just for everybody coming in late, so today's project was getting this top plate on. Okay, I mount it up front. Connected it there, and then we did that back brace. Okay, top plate, center section, all that good stuff. 
All right. Get a little, get a little close-up view of everything. And that's it. Well, the next project we do, we're going to move on to the front hubs. All right. Since we already did the back aluminum hubs. Going to do the front hubs, aluminum as well. All the parts up here. These are the hubs. We got the package of the uh, fully adjustable aluminum caster blocks that are going to go in it. So now I'm debating on whether or not I should put the radio tray in now, back in, and I probably could, then we got to start, we still got to prep the engine, get that ready to go in, the last, as far as uh, just the front aluminum hubs are going to be the uh, last biggest project. Mainly because this is going to be a basher. That's why I wanted to have these braces. I do plan to jump this thing. So, you know, it might land hard, nosedive, all that stuff. It's good to have the braces. Um, I like the design of how they do this on this rear brace that goes all the way along to the mid, mid of the chassis. Then these braces, it's going to be very hard in my eyes. I should say, in my opinion, to buckle this chassis with having the down bar, the down bar here, this top plate, you know. That's why I went to all the aluminum center stuff, right? I've always done that with all my platforms, whether it be a scale or fist scale. I'm sure the plastic um, braces work. I just like having the aluminums because if you, if you notice... If you remember when I first started working on this, where all this stuff was all plastic, um, the MCD plastics, in my eyes, are very, very good. I like the aluminum stuff that much better. Little makes it more flashy, makes it look better. Not that it's a freaking, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? A fashion show, but. This stuff does look nice. The only downside is these brackets are expensive. Actually, all the MCD stuff is expensive. Everything on this platform, way more expensive than buying stuff for the 5T by a long shot. But I'm happy with it. I really like this platform. I got big plans for it. I know a lot of guys are buying these and they're going big bore with them. Naturally, I'm going to run mine small bore first, have a little bit of fun with it. If it does what I want it to do and how I think it's going to handle, I will probably leave it small bore. If I feel that it's just not enough for me, being that everything I'm running all has big bores in it, it's kind of hard to want to step down to a small bore, but even the Taylor small bore is no slouch by any means. And I think with being a smaller size platform, a small bore, a really good small bore in this is going to push this platform, no problem. But if I do decide at a later date to go big bore, I've got all the bracing and everything where it needs to be so that I won't have any issues. That's just my reasoning for doing it, plus the shit looks nice. I think it'll look a whole lot better once I get the aluminum hubs on the front. Um, I don't know if I'm going to start them today I probably will will wait till maybe tomorrow um, I don't know yet it all depends just with feeling as crappy as I do I want to work on it but I don't feel like being live while I do it I just hate hacking and coughing and all that stuff in people's ears but uh plus I sound like shit <laughs> My nose is all stuffed up. I can't breathe. None of that crazy crap, but it is what it is. Anyway.
anyways, let's get this thing back up behind the computer. We'll sit, talk BS for a little bit. I'm not going to start the aluminum hubs now. Of course, who knows? I may. I may just say, hell with it, get bored, start it. My center left is off Cyclone. <laughs> Very well could be. I'll have to check that. I'll have to check it. Everybody want to be funny. All right. So anyways, who's got a topic? What y'all want to talk about? Anybody got anything they want to put out? I've kind of done what I set out to do. I'm not in a big hurry to finish this all now. This is supposed to be my winter project. And it's hard trying to stretch this out because it doesn't take long to put this stuff on. I've put... I've bought all the major stuff that I want for it. There's a lot of other stuff I could have got for it, but it's just not needed. Not for what I'm going to do with it. But it's like you put more and more stuff on it. You may as well have just bought the ultimate where it came with all that stuff. But I didn't want the ultimate version. And I thought about getting it. I could have afforded it if I wanted it, but I really didn't want to do the ultimate version because I wanted to do the version where I got the exhaust, the clutch bill and all that stuff. So I could run it small bore and, uh, Dion, no, that buggy is not going to be electric, not going to be electric by any means. No, sir. Nope. 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 Not against the electric stuff. I'm just not an electric type guy, so naturally mine is not going to be electric. I do have to go to Harbor Freight, get me some more microfiber towels. Um, let me put this nut and bolt kit away real quick. <coughs> <coughs> All right. Uh, what next? What next? What about the new Sended engine, David Butler? Pick me up an 8 p.m. pressure washer. <laughs> this is 2%. What the hell are you talking about? 8 p.m. pressure washer. What the frig? Good luck with the microfiber towels. Heard from a friend. Chris bought them all. Yeah. 
it's probably hard to find microfiber towels anywhere because damn old uh, Chris buy them all up. Oh, Chris, buy them all up. I think he's. I think he's got a three port and a five port version. Got a three and a five, if I'm correct. Now, Dion, haven't seen anything put out on the uh, Taylor Twin yet. Nothing on the Taylor Twin yet. Still waiting on that. Still waiting on it. I think everybody's waiting for that to see what the price on that Taylor Twin is going to be. Now, you know what? I can put my body clip back in now that I got that brace installed so I don't lose this damn thing. Probably should put the radio tray back in. I don't know if I'm going to need to do that. Because I still... I got to put the Helion Tronics kill switch on the engine before the engine goes in. So I'm waiting on that. Um, I've already got the kill switch, the brain portion in the radio tray. So all I got to do is just plug it in once the engine goes in. JMRC, what's going on? Kings RC, what's up? Yeah, I've got a cold. Sound like ass. Hacking and coughing, all that crazy stuff. What engine's it going to be based off of? David Butler? I'm not sure. I think it's his own design. Not every engine out there has to be based off of someone else's stuff. I think Matt is, was wanting to do his own design. I know that's the big question. Everyone's like, well, what's it based off of? Honestly, it doesn't matter what it's based off of. Every engine out there is different. But, uh, nah, Dion, it's not the Rona. I don't have Rona. I don't know if I did. I've had it before. What I'm feeling is not how it was when I had it. I was a lot worse off. Man, I didn't get out of bed for like a week. I didn't eat for like four and a half, almost five days. But I think it's just a common cold. It hits me more at night when I'm laying down. I get all stuffed up and congested. If, I, if I'm up moving around and doing something, it's not that bad. I'm not hacking hacking that much and all that. But I do when, when I try to go to bed at night. It keeps me up all night. I ain't slept for crap in the past couple of days. But. Honestly, I ain't taking nothing. All I've been doing is eating cherry halls, cough drops. I'm not a big medication person. I've always lived my life. If it comes natural, it'll go away natural. I don't pop pills. I don't take Mucinex. I don't take Sudafed. I don't even take normal aspirin or anything for anything. I don't do headache medicine. I just, for one, I don't like swallowing pills. I don't like taking medications. I've always had a high tolerance for pain and sickness, so if it if it comes naturally, it's going to go away naturally. Yes, all that over-the-counter stuff will help you be more at ease and all that crap, but it's just one of those things that uh, it is what it is. Yeah, I didn't get to make it into Cole Watts' stream last night. I was watching movies with the old lady. Plus, I hate buying meds. I'm, 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 I'm the same way, Kings RC. I don't like buying meds, so put that money towards RC stuff. <laughs> like I said, it comes natural. It'll go natural, period. It is what it is. 
Plus, a lot of that crap makes you feel drowsy, makes you want to sleep and all that. And that's why I don't take a lot of that crap. Yeah, a lot of people take meds to ease the discomfort, but I don't mind that stuff. I take Sudafed at night so I can breathe. If I can't breathe good, I won't sleep. That's that's my only problem. My damn nose gets all stuffed up. So I hate freaking trying to sleep and breathing through your mouth and your throat gets dry and all that. Mr. 2%, exactly. Death is inevitable. You're all going to die at some point in time. It's just a matter of when your calling card is picked. When it happens, it happens. But let me grab a drink real quick, guys. I'll be right back. Your throat's getting a little bit dry. Hibbity dibbity. <sighs> well, I appreciate we still got twenty people watching. So what's everybody think of the new MCD? You guys liking all the parts that I'm installing on it? I have no choice but to take pills with migraine because the pain is off the chart. Oh, I have migraines real bad, too. Yeah, I suffer from uh, migraines hellaciously. But I don't take meds for them. Usually if I just go lay down in the living room with the lights off where it's where it's dark, you know. That seems to ease it a little bit. Cyclone MCD is looking good. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Yeah, the Coyote motors for the Fords are all right. There's better out there. It's all right for a Ford motor. Not a big Ford fan. I've driven a few Mustangs with the Coyote motor in it. The Z, uh, the Z01 Camaro engine outperforms the coyote motor by a long shot but it is it is good for for a ford engine great farmer freelance is painting still with us i appreciate it shane shane do you ever think about coming back to youtube and doing live feeds again do you have any interest in it or do you think you're totally done with it are you just getting on youtube to support other channels and I thought Eminem released a CD. Never. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with that. Doing YouTube's not for everybody. Kings RC, that's how I am. I very rarely ever get sick. My man Pete, what's in the box? What's going on? I saw you were live. I was in there, had you up, giving you some watch time. I think you went live right, right after I did. Pete, hopefully you're doing well. Always good to see you, my man. Only here for a handful of channels like yours. I appreciate that, Shane. I really, really do. Yeah, it's one of those things a lot of people in YouTube are giving it up. YouTube really lately just doesn't seem what it used to be for a lot of people. My channel's still thriving, which is good. That's why I continue on with it. Naturally, this month and last month, I've slowed down a lot of what I've been doing. But I do this every year. I always go, you know, hard charging in the summer times and all that. Nadia, what's going on? Good to see you. 
what's in the box. Again, no notification. Otherwise, I wouldn't have started my own live. Well, you ain't got to be sorry, man. No need to apologize, brother. Like I tell everybody, whether I'm live or not, a lot of you guys, get your live feeds in where you can fit it in, you know. I'm not a I'm not a glory hound. I don't I don't expect my community of people to always be in on my live feeds because naturally, you know, a lot of you guys have channels, too. I want you guys to do what you got to do on your channel to grow your channel. I just help you out the best I can. Don't ever be sorry for going live the same time I do, because, you know, that's one thing I've always said in the past that naturally what happens, you know, when we all have live feeds that we do. Nine times out of 10, it's going to be near impossible to pick a day where all of us or some of us are not live at the same time. That's that's always going to happen. I know a lot of times you guys will go live when I am or I'll go live when you are, but I always go back and watch your guys' replays and give you the watch time. Hell, a lot of time if I'm live and you're live at the same time, I'll have your live up in the background giving you watch time. Naturally, because I'm entertaining my own crowd, I can't be in your live, you know, typing nonstop like I normally would be doing if I wasn't live. But I make sure you guys get, you know, watch time regardless, no matter who it is. Uh, Answer RC in the UK is going to be the distributor for the Nova engines. Yeah, our, the only one I know of in the US right now is uh, Bones Motorsports, the maker of Bones Brew Fuel, Brent Bones. He already had one batch come through and they sold instantly. So now there's everybody on a waiting list for the next batch to come in. <sighs> Give it some time since they're new on the market. I'm sure there'll be other places that'll pick them up. They're probably just waiting for people to get them, try them out, see how they like them and all that stuff. But it's one of those things that they got to build up their reputation. Mr. 2%, I agree. There are some soft people on YouTube. They must have special toilet paper. They do. They're... It's one of those things, man. A lot of channels out there, just nothing but drama anymore. That's why a lot of people that have them type of channels, their channels have crashed and burned. They don't thrive. Especially the ones that say, oh, I don't indulge in the drama. I don't like the drama. I don't like this. I don't like that. But then they're, but then they're over on their own channel indulging in the shit that they say that they don't like or don't want to participate in but they're one of the biggest causes of the drama that they have on their channel. Mr. 2%, you know one channel I'm talking about because that same person did the same thing to you. Great Farmer Freelance, you know what I'm talking about. You experienced it as well. That's like me. It's been two weeks. I don't talk about drama anymore. I'm leaving that crap right out of my channel. I've banned everyone and anyone that has any drama. We're just we're, we're not going to do it anymore. It was funny at first. I, I get it. Everybody likes a little bit of drama, but the thing I hate about drama people, at least when I bring up people and I talk about them, it's the truth. It's stuff that they're actually doing that me and not only I see on their channel, but everyone else sees that crap on their channel. But then they sit up on their channel and they're like, oh, I don't indulge in it. I don't do it. They're doing it on their channel. They're running over onto other people's channels, bringing up drama that was, they say, was laid to rest, put to, oh, excuse me, put to bed and all that. Exactly, Kings RC. It's not drama when it's the truth. And that's one thing we've always done is put out the truth. If I'm exposing you and making an example of you, it's because it's the truth. And I have all the proof to prove it. Hell, I show it on my videos, on live feeds. What's even worse is when the people that I bring up, I have them on my live panels and they admit it for themselves. You, you can't deny that. 
You definitely can't deny that. But that's one of the things we're going to be talking a lot about on uh, Keith Jenkins's live feed tonight when I'm on his on his channel. Retired Rick, what's going on? Good to see you. So again, for those of you, um, basically five and a half hours, Keith Jenkins is going to be doing his second live feed ever. He's basically going to be interviewing me and my thoughts on YouTube. He's going to, we're going to talk about what has made my channel so successful, what has made it last five years running, the do's and don'ts and, and, and all that crazy stuff. So it'll be, uh, It'll be very interesting. Very interesting. It's going to hurt a lot of people's feelings out there because there are going to be a lot of different people that will be brought up. Examples of their channels. They're probably not going to like it, but Keith told me, don't hold back anything. Say whatever you want to say, whether it hurts somebody's feelings or not. So I'm going to oblige him. He knows I'm a straight shooter, straightforward person. I have no problem no problem speaking the truth and telling people what I think of them, what I think of their channel, all that shit. But it should definitely be uh, an interesting live feed. I just hope my voice holds out long enough where I can do it. <sighs> but like I always say, if people get offended, all fucking well. If you're getting offended, then obviously the shoe fits your foot because you're the one doing that dumb shit. But uh, if you weren't doing dumb shit, then people won't be making an example of you. Yeah, Mr. 2%, I agree. Admit your faults and then nobody can judge you. But see, that's the problem. The ones that have faults, they try to hide it. And say, well, I ain't doing this. I ain't doing that. When people know you've been doing that stuff forever. Been doing that stuff forever. No place for snowflakes, homeboy RC. Exactly. Exactly. GWT, good to see you back, my man. Let's see where we're at. We're at two hours. Not bad, not bad. We'll see how much longer we run it for. Yeah, YouTube, YouTube definitely is not a place for people that have non-thick skin. You know, it's a social media platform where anybody has the right to say whatever they want to say. The problem is you got too many people out there that like to tell lies and fairy tales about others. That's one of the great things about my channel is we don't sugarcoat nothing. We tell you like it is. And if you don't like it, then obviously you're the one that's probably part of the problem. Because if you have a, a difference of opinion, then the truth just hurts you. Okay. And that's the big problem in the world today is a lot of people can't handle the truth. Everybody wants to be coddled and talked to in a certain way. But when it's directed at them, when they're doing wrong, they want to try to cover it up and blame everybody else. But that's usually the uh, the biggest thing out there is when people get offended at stuff. It's usually because it has to do with them and they can't handle it that they're effing up and they don't like people exposing them. Well, people wouldn't expose you if you weren't doing dumb shit and telling lies and getting offended. I've had that happen to me 
throughout all the years that I've been on YouTube. A lot of people that have been banned from my channel, that's the reason why they get banned from my channel. I've had people that have came in, were hard supporters, swinging from my nuts. Oh, I love the Nitro Freak. One of the best channels out there. Then after time goes by, when they don't get something out of it, they run around and tell everybody, oh, he's fake. His channel's boring. And I always laugh at stuff like that because I have people out there that say my channel's fake, that my channel's boring. But the same people that are saying it are the same people that were hanging out in my channel for three years faithfully. They were the first ones in the chat whenever I fired up a live feed. They were the first comments churching up my channel in my comment section after video was dropped. And then it's funny when you look at some of them people today, they hate the channel. And it's like, well, you couldn't have hated it that much because you were really swinging from my nutsack for three years straight. And that just because you weren't getting free stuff out of the channel or weren't getting notoriety, you decided you didn't want to be part of it anymore. Well, trust me, that is no loss to me. People will always come and go, always come and go. James Jameson for James Gipe Gipe. He's a, he's a good guy. He's probably one of the only growth streams out there that knows what he's doing, okay? Radio Few Men, I appreciate you stopping in. Says new subscriber Nitro Freak came from via Shady's. Big Up Shady, I appreciate that, my man. I've known Big Up Shady for a while, good guy. But James Gipe Gipe, I like his channel, okay? He does put forth the effort, and there's a lot of people that talk trash about him, but you got to understand, his channel is very different from mine, okay? I'm not an I help you grow stream. I never will be an I help you grow stream. Um, but everybody runs their streams different. They do what works for them. Not, not Naturally, not everybody is going to like what they do. I've never had no problems with them. He stops into my channel, says hello. His wife stops in and says hello. I will pass through his channel, say hi and hello. We're cordial with each other. Um, a lot of people don't agree with what he does or how he does his stuff, but that's what makes him different from everybody else. 907 Arctic, what's going on? See, that's the big thing in YouTube that people need to understand. Everybody's going to be different. Nobody's the same. It's all in how you do it. What do you mean he chest sizes you continuously, James? You can't talk in there. If you say certain words, he tells you off like a child. You know, you know I, I get it. Here's the thing. It's funny you brought that up. Because one thing I think we've all learned in YouTube... A lot of rumors fly around in YouTube about what you can and can't say. You'll go to certain channels and they'll say, don't say I subbed you. Don't say connected. Don't say this. Don't say that. They think that if you say them words, their channel's going to get shut down. But it's only because they heard that from someone else. And the person that probably started that rumor didn't know what they were talking about to begin with because... I've been saying a lot of the stuff on my channel that people will not allow in their channel in the fear of them getting shut down. And I've been doing this for five years and ain't been shut down. So you put two and two together, you can kind of figure out what's going on. But I'm not going to knock them people. It's their channel. They have the right to say, look, if you're going to be in here watching my channel, I don't want you saying this. I don't want you saying that. That's their right. Best thing I can say is if you don't agree with it, then just don't go to that channel. If you don't like the way they're treating you, then you just don't support that channel. I don't know any other way to, to explain it to you. Um, yeah, and, and James's channel is like that. He doesn't, he doesn't like people to say, help me grow. And, and Because, see, that's a big problem. Everybody in YouTube wants to grow. So naturally what happens, you got a lot of people running around that you won't know. People will just 
filter into your channel and say, help me grow, help me grow, sub to me, sub to me. I can't stand that. When I see people do that in my channel, I just block them. I don't want nobody ever coming to my channel begging for anything. Begging is a sign of weakness. Don't be weak. Don't beg. Don't make yourself sound pathetic. I get it. Everybody wants to grow. It is easier for some people than others. There's a right way to do things and there's a wrong way to do things. Nitro, oh, you helped me put the puzzle together there. Okay, say no more. Just wanted a man's opinion. Yeah, James Jameson, no problem. I'm not, you know, I, I'm hopefully I'm explaining it to you the best I can. You just, like I said, there's one thing in, in, in YouTube you'll learn. You just got to let everybody do what they're going to do on their channel. It's their channel. It's their rules. I let everybody pretty much have a free say of what they want to say in my channel. But if it gets out of hand, then I time you out. I give you a warning. If you continue to do it, then I just ban you. I'm to that point where I've been doing this too long. I'm no longer going to, you know, try to make fe people feel warm and fuzzy. I've never been that way. If you go and watch my original content, I was pretty much an asshole and a dick then, and I still am today. But at least I can say I've been 100% real from day one, and I'll stay that way to the end. I ain't changing for nobody. Okay? Very rarely do I ever time people out. Unless you're just really saying something stupid off the wall. You know, I let everybody be the way they want to be. But if you're just a drama queen and you're all about the attention, though, hey, look at me, then yeah, you're going to be gone. Well, one thing you got to understand about James Gipe Gipe as well, James, is that he deals with a lot of a lot of bullshit. You can imagine as big as his channel is, the amount of people he has in there, he probably deals with a lot of shit. He's been doing YouTube a long time, so he's been there, done that, just like I have been. I offend a lot of people at what I say. But I'll tell you like this, it shows me real quick who has thick skin and who's real people. Because even with the way I am, the people that are still here with me today, then obviously that means you're worthy of being part of my channel. And I respect people like that. The ones that come and go, it's just because you're not saying the things that they want to hear. And we ain't here to say what everybody wants to hear. If you don't like what we got to say, then mosey along. Okay? I've said that from day one. Free quick question. Can I use a two-channel receiver in a nitro if I run the transponder off a wide lead? Yeah, you probably could run the transponder off the battery lead because all you need to do is power up the transponder so that it blinks and receives signal. You don't have to use a receiver that uh, has a third channel for it. I've seen people run it off the battery lead. But like I said, you know, it's one of them things. You got you got too many people that are just. I don't even know how to explain it anymore. Just because I choose not to talk about it. It gets old. Talking about the same old shit. We all know who them people are out there. I've seen it. I've seen it lately. I've, I've visited some channels where I'll see a channel host doing a live feed. They'll bring up my channel. And say, oh, yeah, I ain't got nothing against Nitro Freak. He's always been cool to me when I've been in his channel. And then someone else that don't like me will go into his, into that host's channel, start talking untruthful stuff, and that host would be like, oh, yeah, man, F that guy. I won't visit him anymore. And it's like, that just shows how dumb a lot of these people are. You're listening to people that are known to be nothing but drama and a troll, and you let people sway you to the dark side. When you haven't even taken the time to get to know me or visit my channel, but then, you know, for views and drama, they'll bring me up in their channel. I, I've seen it done for years, but as I've always said, I don't let that shit bother me because I'm still here today. I ain't going anywhere. My channel ain't going anywhere. I've dealt with people saying for years, 
I'm going to take your channel down. You swear too much. You do this. Uh, you pick on people. Well, if I pick on people, it's because you're doing dumb shit. You deserve to be picked on. We will teach you a lesson. Maybe you'll wisen up, grow up, and stop doing dumb shit. Stop saying untruthful stuff. You won't have a problem. Do you have a nine wire in Shadow's birdhouse? Cyclone, you're killing me with that crap. Exactly, home bar RC, and that's one thing I've always done. You know, you've been part of my channel for a couple of years now. Tell it like it is in here. If people don't like it, then eject Osito, cuz. I've had to I've had to eject a lot of people from my channel over the years. But you know what? That just proves they weren't worthy enough to be in here. They obviously couldn't handle real life. They're nothing but drama. They like the lies. They want to be the center of attention. I've had a lot of people that unsubbed my channel over the years because it wasn't about them. I've had people, you know, come in and talk, 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 talk. And when you don't acknowledge them, they get mad and they be like, oh, to hell with this channel. I'm unsubscribe and I'm leaving. So what? For every two to three people that leave, there's going to be five to six new ones that come along. That's a proven fact. Yeah, I'm over Miami. I got an email the other day that someone was trying to hack Social Blade. Dion says, I love it in here. That's it. The people that love it in here are the people that have thick skin and are realists, okay? If you're a realist, then you'll you'll like the channel. I see so many people that all they do is sit up on a panel and lie, lie, lie about stuff, thinking that it's going to make them look cool and get attention. And all it does is destroy their channel. It's like, I've always asked this question. The people that view YouTube, would you rather listen to someone that is nothing but drama and lies? Is that what people want to fucking hear? Does that impress you when someone says, I'm going to be a millionaire on YouTube. I'm going to get it done. When I go to this country, I'm going to, I'm going to ramp it up. And then when you see these people, they get nothing accomplished that they did when they were in the U S and then when they go to a different place, still nothing has happened. Just because you leave the country and go into another country doesn't mean it's going to build your channel. You're still the same boring channel with nothing but drama and lies. What do you think's going to change? You know, it's it's one of them crazy things that some people just haven't figured that out yet. Todd RC Ohio, I agree with you. Drama, drama is lame. It is lame. But if there's truth to it, then it's, you know, it's really not drama. That's just my opinion on it. And, you know, I accept everybody out there is going to have a different opinion than I do. I don't expect everybody to follow with what I say or what I believe in. But I can tell you like this. I've been around the world and back. You know, I'm not somebody that just has sat in the U.S. my whole life, okay? Being retired military, I've been subjected to almost every foreign country out there, every nationality, every race, everything. I see the real world for what it is. Some people don't, okay? That's why I've always been 100% real with everybody. But some people out there can't do that. They, they figure that they can just talk a lot of crap and it's going to make them be somebody on YouTube when it's not gonna, it's not gonna. I mean, if you're going to talk a whole lot of mess and say, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. Well, then you better do it. You better show proof that what you're saying you're going to accomplish. And that's one thing I've seen in a lot of channels. People say this and that and never prove anything of what they claim. Especially the ones that say, Oh, any minute now, or you wait tomorrow, this is going to happen tomorrow. That's going to happen. Next thing you know, six damn months have gone by and it's still the same bullshit day in and day out. Or the channels that say, I'm not talking about this person no more. And then all they do is talk about that person seven days a week, nonstop. 
It's just, you know, do what you're going to say. If you don't like the drama and you're not going to talk about a certain someone, then don't talk about him anymore. But then when people basically tell you to shut that fuck up, your own people are telling you that, then you should probably pay attention to what your people are saying. Dion, exactly. Lying to people on YouTube will only get you like two followers. Yeah, we all we all know a channel like that. It's um, it's crazy. Hey, Mister Two Percent, I'm a funny guy. People are still laughing at stuff that I said years ago. I'm an entertaining person, you know. I don't I don't take take to heart what goes on on YouTube, okay? That is what has always made me survive in this game. If my feelings got hurt by every person that said something negative about me or to me on a panel or in a chat, <coughs> I'd have left YouTube years ago, okay? But I got thick skin. Nothing bothers me on YouTube, okay? I know what's truthful and what's not, okay? Most people are grown-ups enough to know who's lying, who's bullshitting. But you're always going to have them people out there that are just going to try to discredit you because what you say and what you do doesn't fit their agenda. And that's the problem. When you're not fitting their agenda and they can use your clout for notoriety and to grow their channel, then they hate you. I mean, look at how many people that I've helped grow their channels. My man, 2% with that donation. I appreciate it, brother. Thank you, thank you very much, my man. This is for you, brother. I'll give you a good example. The amount of people that I've helped grow their channels, okay, and then have been booted from my channel. I love it when I see these people say, oh, my community's bigger, my community's this. Well, you got the people in your community because you visited my channel and we promoted you. So naturally what happens when we promote you? My community takes my word of who I promote, thinking that they're a, de a decent person. Now, I make mistakes on that because I've got a lot of people that I promoted that I probably never should have. But being the nice guy that I am, I try to promote people and help. But I've seen it where people, their channel is 90% my community. And then they sit up there and talk and say, yeah, I got a big team. These have been my people forever. No, they're not because they never knew who you were. You got 90% of my people in your community. Had I not promoted you, none of my people would even know who the hell you are. So you wouldn't even have none of them people in your channel. I don't have to mention any names. We know we know one certain channel out there that likes to say that all the time. Hold on a minute, James Jameson. I'm scrolling up. I see you wrote uh, a long comment. I'm trying to get to it. Where the hell did it go? Natural Freak, I've always said you should do voiceover work or even ringside announcer when you say poker Rossi <laughs> <coughs> oh man that hurt my throat doing that that's why I'm not doing that today oh god <sighs> this damn cold is killing me but yeah I agree I agree My man, Great Farmer Freelance with another donation. I appreciate that, brother. This is for you, my man. Uh, you're good, James. Don't worry about it. And yeah, I agree with that statement. Don't ever... Don't ever worry about what other people think of you or say about you. Don't don't let that shit bother you because someone's always going to have an opinion of everybody that they're not going to like. So,
what's in the box. James Jameson is just talking. Um, nonchalantly, I, I don't think he's attacking, attacking you, Pete. But, ugh, yeah, but you're always going to have people out there that just don't agree with what you say or what you're going to do. I'll tell you like this. I don't give a goddamn if anybody agrees with what I have to say. I've been saying that from day one. Can anybody tell me what my famous quote has always been? If you've been following me from day one of my channel, I said it the very first live feed, and I think probably from the first video I ever dropped, that I still say the same thing today, that I tell everybody. This is a man's channel. If you got thin, thin skin and you don't like what goes on here, then get the fuck out. This is not a safe space for anybody. I've been saying that for years. If you don't like what goes on here, then don't watch me. See, a lot of people complain about what I talk about on my channel, all right? That's the joys of YouTube. It's my channel. I can say whatever the fuck I want, and you can't do shit about it. Nobody can. Nobody can. Exactly, uh, Todd R.C. Ohio. Famous quote, you can stick that carburetor right up your ass. I had no problem saying that. You know, I've had people do that. Try to bribe me with stuff. Thinking that I'll leave them alone. Look, I'm going to tell you like this, guys. This is a God's honest truth. I ain't never bullied nobody, and I never will bully anybody. If you look up the definition of bullying somebody, bullying somebody is attacking them for no reason just because you don't like them. Maliciously. Malicious intent. And I've never signaled out anybody on YouTube for no reason. All right. Never signaled out anybody for no reason. If I'm talking shit about you, it's because you gave me a reason. Okay. There ain't a single person in here that can dispute that. Those of you that have known me long enough know exactly what I'm about and where I come from. And anytime I've ever brought, brought up anybody... It's either because you sat up on a panel lying, not only to your own people, but to my people, trying to persuade my people to do stuff that they would have got them in trouble or destroyed their own channel. Yeah, I have a problem with that. All right. Not going to mention any names, but we all know him as the chosen one. Exactly what the fuck is that clown chosen for? Nobody will ever know. And I haven't talked about this person. I'm not going to mention his name, but I'm going to tell you what. A lot of people say that I bully him. I'm going to tell you like this. The reason why he had problems with me is when you sit up on a panel for six months straight and lie to everybody and lie to people in my community for your own benefit, I have a problem with that. Because I have a lot of people that are part of my community that are trying to grow their channels. And they don't know the right way to do it. So when they stumble onto a channel that they think is working, but they really don't know the background of what that person's about, they might make that one bad mistake and get involved with other channels or do things that they probably shouldn't have done. And that's one thing I've always tried to save my people from, Okay. I happen to value all my community and I've always tried to help everybody. I don't have to, but I do it because I like, I like helping people. But when you're the type of person that sits and tries to lead my community down the wrong path, then yeah, I've got something to say about it. Especially when I have more knowledge of YouTube than this one sole person ever did. Okay. And he tried to lie to everybody about a lot of stuff. I mean, hell, that same person that I'm mentioning come on my live feed with another person and laid all the truth down on the table. But what did he do after? He's right back to maintaining that his whole channel was built flawlessly and this and that. And I love the excuse that people make when they say, 
well, if my channel's fake, how come YouTube hasn't taken me down? Well, when you were a boosting channel, you were buying non-droppable subs. Those of us out there that know that, we know that that's why your channel has not disappeared because you bought non-droppable subs. There are different subs that you can buy, ones that will be taken away right away, and you're the dumbass for paying even the higher price and paying more money to buy the non-droppable ones. It's the only reason why that channel is still around. Okay, we all know that. It's been talked about. I get it. A lot of you guys don't know the inner workings of that stuff. Okay, I do. I work with somebody very closely that did it. All right, laid it all down on the line on my live feed many a time. So, but I figured I'd throw that out there. You know, people, people want to call me a bully. Call me a bully. Do you think that I care? Do you think that people can threaten me with having my channel taken down? Ain't nobody out there going to take my channel down. I heard a month ago that my channel was going to be gone the next morning. Here I am a month later. I'm still here, guys. Why am I not gone? You know why I'm not gone? Because I've never violated the terms and service of the community guidelines on YouTube. I've said this a million times. I know what I can get away with and what I can't. That is why I'm still here today. This is why I'll be here tomorrow and years later if I so choose to continue doing YouTube. I even mentioned, what, about three weeks ago that I was possibly going to start up another channel. What was conveniently funny is the minute I said that, all the rumors that started that said, oh, yeah, Nitro Freak's going to start up a second channel because he knows this one's going to get taken down. Do you know how dumb that sound? This channel ain't going anywhere. If I start up another channel, okay, it's just going to be to monetize that channel for double the income, okay? I make good money off my channel. A better way to do it is monetize a second channel. But if I do, the second channel I do is going to have nothing to do with RC content. That's why this channel will never go nowhere. This is my RC content content channel it'll always be here if i do a second channel it'll be solely for stuff like my military memorabilia hot rods my harleys and maybe just vlog and stuff when i go fishing i might fire up a live on that channel while i'm out on the dock fishing or when i go walk around a store or whatever but it would make no sense to start up a second channel and do RC on it when I already have an RC channel. See, that's that's the things that people don't realize. Xavier's RC, exactly, jealousy. A lot of people jealous of the Nitro Freak. That's, that's, that, that's been proven. That's been proven. And to have an RC channel doesn't mean that you got to do RC content on it every time you fire up a fucking live feed. I love it how a lot of people out there seem to make up their own rules of, well, he calls himself an RC channel, but half the time he doesn't do RC stuff. Well, I know channels out there that claim they're an RC channel, and I don't know how they can consider themselves an RC channel when they got a one piece of shit Traxxas, okay? One piece of shit Traxxas that they never play with or never work on. But they're going to call themselves an RC channel. Well, where's the RC content? All right. I did an unboxing of well over $3,000 worth of stuff. Okay. Do you think that I'm going to buy stuff every time that I fire up a live feed to show you guys and to work on stuff? Nobody's going to do that. Unless you got all kinds of money falling out of your ass. Okay, I don't know any RC channel out there that goes live as much as I do because I watch everybody's stuff. And even some of the bigger channels out there that are way bigger than me, every time they fire up a live feed, they're not unboxing something new. They're not talking about something new on their channel. They're they're showing the same old stuff that they've had from day one. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. But the point I'm trying to make is, you know, you got a lot of naysayers out there that want to claim this, want to claim that. Okay. I've been an RC channel. 
when I first started this channel, it was nothing but RC content. And as it evolved, we talked about other stuff. That's what keeps a channel thriving. My man Shadow Ops with that donation says, Nitro Funds. I appreciate that, brother. Thank you. Thank you very much. This is for you, my man. You can be an RC channel, but doesn't mean that you have to do RC stuff every time you get on YouTube. You're a pretty dumb motherfucker if you, if you, if you tend to think that. That's just my opinion, and I'll say that flat out whether people like it or not. <laughs> but. Because I know some pretty well-off people, even in my own community, they got great jobs, make a lot of money, but every time they're dropping a video... Doesn't mean that they're showing something brand new that they bought. They might want to do videos on their older stuff that they never talked a lot about. It's a lot of what we do on my channel. Five years, guys. I've got a crap ton of stuff. You guys have seen it all. Minus the new stuff that I picked up. Okay? That's why every live feed I'm doing is something new on the MCD. Because that's new content you guys haven't seen. What number did you have this on? <laughs> my man, Dion. I appreciate that, brother. Thank you. Thank you very much. This is for you, my man. I appreciate that greatly, guys. Always, always a big shout out to everybody that's super chatting the channel. You know, that's one of the big things that we're going to talk about on Keith's live stream tonight of why stuff like this happens on my channel. When I hear a lot of people complain, how the hell does Nitro Freak get all them donos? What does his channel have that mine doesn't? We're going to go in depth and talk about that. Nitro Freak thought you were not going to do a long live Left you going on while I was gone and you're still live. Yeah. It's only because people started asking me questions. We got on a topic and I'm just rolling with it. Because really, for the past month, month and a half, I haven't really done a whole lot of lives. So naturally, my watch time is down. Um, but it's nowhere near falling past the threshold. I'm thousands and thousands of watch time hours away from that, but. I do like to keep all my numbers in the high green, which they all are. Big John D ain't no way in hell whistling, dieseling my Camaro. <laughs> nope. Meant to say, what did you have with this number on? Oh, you talking the 666? That was actually my old uh, National Motocross number, believe it or not, if that's what you're referring to, Dion. My AMA National Pro number when I was racing motocross was 666. That used to freak a ton of people out. They're like, seriously, dude? I think I even showed some of my old, uh... yeah, my dirt bike. Damn, Dan, I'm surprised you even remembered that. You may have been part of my channel longer than I thought because I haven't shown that or mentioned that in a long, long time. <sighs> Matter of fact, I don't know if I have. I'll have to dig some of them pictures out. They're in my toolbox drawer, but it's blocked with tools right now. But yeah, that's my old uh, AMA number. <sighs> District 9, District 10. Number of the beast, 666. You told me that when we first talked on the phone. Well, that, that was a while ago. That was a while ago, Dion. And that new channel that I mentioned is going to be for stuff like that. A lot of people know. A lot of people don't know. 
I raced motocross for 28 years and I was damn good at it. 90% of all the trophies that you've seen hanging up on, on uh, this top shelf, it's all some of the biggest trophies of nationals that I won back in the day. Another super chat. War. Let's go. Let's go. My man, Pete. I appreciate that, brother. Thank you. Thank you very much. This is for you, my man. The Super Chat Wars are always fun. They're great. Brings in a lot of money. But I don't get hell bent on that. I just appreciate more than anything that you guys feel my channel's worthy enough to super chat too. You know, that's one thing I've always said. I've caught I've caught a lot of flack for that. And usually that's just jealous people because I'm gonna tell you, there's a lot of jealous people out there in YouTube of my channel. I mean, I've literally seen my channel mentioned in a lot of other channels out there that have Never been part of my community, but you know, every channel always has lurkers in it. And that's a big thing. I'm like, people are like, I don't understand why he pulls in all them donations. His channel's an RC channel. All he does is show run videos and content of this and content of that. But what they don't realize is my community, my group, that's what they love. That's why they super chat the way they do. My channel's not like a lot of other channels out there. Here comes some more Canadian tire money, Nitro. I appreciate that, my brother Shane. Thank you. Thank you very much. This is for you, my man. Very, very much appreciated, guys. Always, always. You know, and that's one thing. Um, you know, I've seen channels where they literally... Say, hey, I need money. Let, let's get a super chat war going on my channel. Like, Look, if you got to beg your people for money or even bring up the notion of, hey, let's get a super chat war going on my channel. If I was to say that, you could pretty much guarantee I'd probably never see another donation because people are just going to look at that as begging for money. I've never asked anybody of anything. I've even told people I prefer people not to super chat. OK, I'm not about the money. Never have been, never will be. But that's what makes people super chat a good channel. If they love what you do and they love your content, then your people are going to support you regardless. You don't have to seem desperate. You don't got to beg for it. People are just going to do it because they want to support what you do. That's what all this is about, guys. Again, my man, Pete. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, guys. I'm going to stop stressing my voice. Great farmer. Okay, let's go, buddy. Super chat war is on. German tire money. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Canadians and Germans. This is for you, my man. Appreciate that, brother. And usually with a super chat war... That's how it all starts. It's just some people having some fun, throwing out some small donations. You know, nobody's got to do it to go broke. Not for the chosen one who farts on his lives. Oh, my God. Stop that. You're going to get me laughing. I'm going to get hacking like crazy. Fucking Dion. Oh, my God. I appreciate that, Dion. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, God damn. Sorry. Excuse me, guys. Is for you, brother. My man GWT, I appreciate you dropping the links to them, guys. Thank you, thank you very much. You know, this is what I've always said, guys. I've got the same people that have been supporting me through over the past couple of years. I'm not one of them people... I don't care. My man, Jeremy Thornton, USA Tire Money. There you go. I appreciate that, brother. Thank you. Thank you very much, Jeremy. Much appreciated. This is for you, my brother, from another mother. <laughs> Thank you. 
Yeah, I forgot what the hell I was saying. Oh, yeah. Um, you know, when stuff like this happens on a channel, it's obviously just because people like your content. I've never asked anything from anybody. I don't care if people super chat or not. I'm still going to be who I am, still put out the content that I have and help everybody that I can. Naturally, I've tried, I've tried to help a lot of people in the past. Not everybody agreed with things I said or things that I did, but you know what? That's their problem, not mine. Um, like I was saying earlier, 907 Arctic, no problem, my man. I see you got to go. I appreciate you being here. Like I've always said, when Super Chat Wars happen, it's much appreciated. It's never required. You guys have been super chatting this whole live stream. I really, really appreciate it. I've got the same people that watch me on a daily basis. I'm not one of them people. I don't need to have 100 people in my chat. I don't care if I have 100 people or if I have 10 people. I'm still going to do what I do and be who I am with no changes. If you want real good times, use German tire money. <laughs> my man, Pete, thank you again, brother. This is for you, bro. Sherry, what's going on? Welcome to the stream. I've been seeing you lately in some other streams. I, I see you got let back into a certain stream that, that you were banned from. They must have been feeling sorry for you. They're only because they're averaging three to four viewers a live stream now. <laughs> but yeah, guys, like I said, you know, I've got the same people that have always been supporting me. And, you know, I value each and every one of y'all. That's why my channel is the way it is. You know, everybody out there has this misconception. To be somebody on YouTube, you got to have a big community. For one... Nobody should be trying to be anyone on YouTube. Be yourself. Do what you do. If people like what you do, then naturally stuff like this comes. Sherry with that donation just because. I appreciate that, dear. Thank you. Thank you very much. This is for you, Sherry. I think that's one of the biggest downfalls for a lot of YouTube channels out there is that they're trying to be somebody. They want to be big on YouTube. They want to be number one. They want to have a big following. I've always had a great following. Do I have a huge following? No. And I don't care to have a huge following. I've always said that. And I'll say it even to this day. Okay. All right, Dion. Nap time for the boy. No problem, man. Go hang out with your boy for a little while. Go get a nap. Um, I'm very content with the amount of people that I have in my chat. Whether it be a high number or a small number. Because I know eventually, if you miss me live one time, you'll always see the next one. I value each and every one of my people. Each and every one of my people. I've always been that way. I've always tried to help promote everybody, even though I'm not an I help you grow stream. Okay? It's one of those things that when you do good things for other people and you are an honest person, well, everybody's going to be nice and honest back with you. You don't need to fake it to make it. Okay? I ain't never faked nothing. Okay? Okay? I've been the same way I've always been. I'll continue to be this way. And that's why what happens on my channel happens. Oh, Sherry, he definitely knows he's defeated. He even admitted that he doesn't even get nowhere near the people that he did when he was back in the U.S. I'm not going to mention any names. You know who I'm talking about. I've seen you in the lives. I think he's starting to realize that he's done for. I mean, he's even, he's begging people for money in Super Chats now. That's what's pathetic. Me and Keith Jenkins were just talking about this on the phone last night. It's just, man, that, that channel is 10 times more horrible than what it was before he left the U.S. It's like, wow. 
I don't understand how somebody would even stream for five hours and you only have three people viewing. I think the highest he's gotten is like seven since he's been there. That's just, you know, I don't care what goes on over there. That channel is a flop. It's done for. But and that's kind of going into what I was talking about earlier. Exactly why happens with those channels is just what I've been talking about. When you lie to people to try to impress everybody, when you say that, oh, um, I know this person, I know that person, I'm going to have big donos. Look, when you talk about that stuff all the time, people see that you're basically begging. Sign of weakness. Okay. Sherry, I appreciate that. So this is a great community. Mr. 2%, I agree. That's what it's like watching some of these channels out there. It's like, uh, you know, I've always been lucky. In, well, I won't even say lucky. I've made it through YouTube by just being me. And, and I don't think, I, I wanted to say maybe I'm just lucky, but no, it's not that I'm lucky. I put in the work. When I go live, I got something to talk about, all right? I'm not sitting here telling everybody bullshit stuff, saying that, oh, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. I'm going to have this happen. I'm going to have that happen. You don't know what's going to happen. How the hell can you sit on a live feed and predict stuff until it happens? See, that's the difference between me and a lot of people. Why I always say I'm a realist. I only believe in what I can see, hear, touch, taste, and smell. Anything outside of that? It's all bullshit. If I don't see it happen from my own eyes, then I'm not going to sit here like I've seen people say, the end of the month, someone's going to come in and give me a $5,000 super chat. First of all, do you know how ridiculous that, ridiculous that sounds? Why the hell would somebody super chat a boring ass channel five grand? Ain't nobody out there like a channel that much. Okay. Nobody does. And if somebody had that kind of money, they wouldn't be dropping it on a channel like that. They'd be dropping it on a channel that has content, has something worth watching, okay? And that's that's the facts. Exactly, Shane. Luck is for the Irish, and I'm Italian. I ain't Irish. I'm a realist, so... Well, Sherry, I'll tell you like this. Do you know what the problem with that is? Said person in question, what did they say on their live feed before they left out of the country? When I get over there, I'm going to collaborate with all these people. You're going to see over 100 people in my channel. You're going to see donations throw through, flow through my channel like you've never seen before. What is he doing over there that is no different? than what he was doing back in the U.S., still sitting in a house, streaming with four walls around him. Now, I don't know why anybody would go on vacation to another country to sit in a house doing five-hour live feeds, the same boring shit that you did when you were in the U.S. If you're going to go on vacation, get out. Show your viewers where you're at, what's out there, what, what there is to do. I'll be damned if I spend four grand on round trip tickets to go to another country and all I want to do is sit in a hotel room or house in stream. That just makes no sense to me. No sense to me. Exactly, Sherry. I've worked for what I have, okay? Me working for what I have means I had to put in the work. I had to come up with content, things to talk about, things to show. Content is 99% of YouTube. People are not going to watch a channel that has zero content. Okay. I can sit here and ask you guys this question. If every live feed that I did where all I did was get up here and sit here like this, how interesting would that be? How long and how many of you would actually sit in this live feed if I talked about nothing and just sat here? 
<coughs> Excuse me. Because I see a lot of channels out there that do that, thinking that that's getting it done. If I want to watch a TV screen in silence, I can go and leave my flat screen in the living room off and just stare at the screen because that's all I'm doing here. I mean, if you ain't got nothing to talk about, you ain't got no content. Well, why the hell do you think people are going to watch you? It just doesn't make any sense. You want stuff to happen? You got to go out there and make it happen. You want content for your channel? You got to go out there and make the content. Me, I've always been blessed, I'll say, that I haven't had to get outside the confines of my shop. Everything that I do right here, I get it done. I can come up with enough content that keep people coming back and watching what I do. Jeremy Thornton, exactly. Said channel has the common sense of a fruit fly. You're right. You're right. Shane, I agree. They're dead air lives. Just like people that do silent streams. I get it why people do silent streams. Because naturally, yeah, there's going to be people that will come through and pass. But they do that for watch time. But if you did that on a daily basis and that's all your channel was, it ain't going to go anywhere. Sherry, I agree. You got to get out, explore the local area. Get out there and show some content. Give your people something to see. You're in a whole different arena. You're in a whole different country. And you choose to, I mean, let's face it. Anybody that's seen any of his latest streams, what does his latest streams consist of? I just don't get it, guys. I got less viewers than I had when I was in the U.S. I hate this. Why won't nobody come to my stream? Come on, guys. Let's get a super chat war going. I just don't get this. Nobody comes to my streams. My VIPs won't even come in and interact with me. I mean, all he does. Here's, here's what is so laughable. When you take a person that all they did was say nothing but positive. I want positivity and good vibes on my channel. That channel, since he's been gone, is just talked about nothing but negative stuff. How he's not making no money, how he's not got no views, nobody's hitting him up, nobody's coming into his chat, uh, he doesn't want to do this, can't go do that. I mean, nothing but negative, 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 negative. It's like, come on, come on, make it happen, make it happen, Captain. Sherry, I agree. You got to feel sorry for that person to waste your time watching him as long as you do. Exactly. Nadia, you hit the nail on the head. He is responsible for himself. Each and every one of us alive on this earth is responsible for our own actions. Nothing is just going to fall in your lap. I get tired of hearing people say, I don't want to work a job because then I got to work for someone else. I'm not going to let someone else tell me what to do at a job, how many hours I got to work, when I can clock out and go home. If every American person thought that way, nobody would, nobody would work a job. We'd have nothing. There'd be no employees to run the stores because let's face it, nobody wants to work. But when I hear people say stuff like that, that right there is just, I don't know. That's some of the dumbest shit that you could possibly talk about on a live stream. Kings RC, exactly. Everybody tried to help that person. You know, it is what it is. You can't have a super chat war with only one person watching. <laughs> Jeremy, you are so 100% correct. And this is the other thing, too. I caught one of the streams the other day where he says, I'm a leader, not a follower. I'm not a bandwagon jumper. I've never copied anyone. I've never done this. I've, I've never done that. He is, that. That is such a lie. That person copied B More Ron, Club Filler Inks, Cheap Charlie, Billy Blue, copied Keith Jenkins, trying to dress like him, run his live streams. He's trying... I, I could go on and on, but I'm not going to sit here and turn this stream into talking about that person. I'm just using that channel as an example, only because it was brought up. 
the whole point of what I'm getting at is if you want to have a successful channel, you got to make it happen. Stop begging people for stuff. Stop making people try to feel sorry for you. Stop begging them for super chat wars and money. What's funny in the whole time in over 10 days that he's been gone, he's gotten $1.99 dono. One since he's been gone. And that was basically because somebody felt sorry for himself because he kept saying, I got no money, so I really can't go out and show anything. Look, it doesn't cost you money to go walk down the street and film. Hey, guys, this is the Philippines. I've never been here, but over here we have this. Here's what our parks look like. Here's a mall. Let's go down to the beach. This is what Filipino women look like in a bathing suit. I mean, I'm going to tell you what. If I went to the Philippines, even as a married man, I could have so much goddamn content, it wouldn't even be funny. Because I've spent a lot of my life in foreign countries. I know what others want to see. Especially when you're in a place that you're not from. Or others are not from. That's interesting to some people. But exactly, Mr. 2%. You're a boss or a worker. And you can't be, well, I don't want to say. You can be both. You can be both. Because even when I had my very first job after retiring out of the military, I was a lead, okay, working contracting. I was a, a, a lead is what they called us. It means I was the boss of a 10-man team. But I still got out with my team and worked just as hard as they did. Just because I was the boss didn't mean that I sat on my ass and dictated what needed to be done. I helped my guys accomplish the mission. We had certain things that we had to get done before the end of the workday at 5 o'clock. If my guys were lacking on a job, I'd get out there and help them. I'd bust my ass because I want to go home too. I can't go home till the job is done. That means my guys can't go home. So if my guys are going to be stuck there, I got to be stuck there. So what's that tell you? Get off your ass and help your team. Everybody comes as together as one and works. You get the job done. You get to go home. But I hate it when I see people say, especially when you're young, okay? You're 48 years old and you say, well, when I was in my 20s, I worked enough. I did my time. You ain't done your time. There are people out there that are still 60, 65, 70 years old working a full-time job today. You're 48 and you think you put your time in already? You ain't put shit in yet, okay? You ain't put shit in yet. That's a fact. If everybody retired at 48 years old, there'd be nothing going on. There'd be nothing going on. Kings RC, exactly. He wants everybody to feel sorry for himself. It's just like YouTube channels out there that blame other channels for their downfall. You can't blame nobody but yourself. Everything that you did was your downfall. Had you not lied to people, had you not faked your way through it, you wouldn't have got exposed. You wouldn't have gotten found out. There wouldn't have been nothing for nobody to talk about. Therefore, you destroyed your own channel. You don't have that right to go blame others. Take responsibility for your own actions and what you did. What up? Just got back from ice skating with the daughter and favorite wife. What's going on, my man David R.C. in the house? Oh, hell yeah, Sherry. I would go out even if I didn't film it. Why the hell would you go on vacation to another country to sit in the house all day? That just doesn't make any sense. Hell, I get out as much as I can in the area I live in, and I don't like to just sit in the house. Naturally, I spend a lot of time doing that just because where I live, I've gone out and done everything there is to do. I've lived in this area for nearly 18 years now, so I've watched everything come and go. But even when I go out, if I want to film, there's always stuff to film, okay? That's it's part of YouTube. It's a grind. You want to have a good channel? You want to bring a following? You got to go out there and find a way to bring people to your channel, period. People are not just going to float through random and be like, oh, let me check out this channel. Oh, this content's boring as hell. I guess I'm going to sit in here for five hours and watch boring content. Ain't nobody going to do that. Nobody's going to do that. It's just like me being an RC channel. If I only had one RC and just showed that same thing 
seven days a week, people would get bored of it. You're probably not going to have a big following. But if you can get out and run it, do different things with it, and it's different content from what was done yesterday, that is something different to look at. Now, a lot of this stuff that I'm talking about right now, we're going to cover this on Keith Jenkins' live feed at 6.30 tonight. So it's kind of good that we're talking about this because I'm getting to run it all through my head of when I get interviewed. Because I'm going to be interviewed on Keith Jenkins' stream on exactly this stuff that I'm talking about. And it's going to go well beyond what I've covered, you know, here today. I'm just touching on some stuff just to keep it fresh in my mind. But it's going to be, it's going to be a great live feed. It's going to go deep. It's going to go deep. But, uh, yeah, like I said, that's why I value my community. No matter what I do, people are always going to follow me. And I'm happy with that. I'm happy if I never get a new soul in my channel. Okay. 20, 30 people. 20, 30 people is usually what I get on a bad day. On a good day, I've had 50, 60, 70, 80. Highest I've ever had is 98 people. There's two people away, four different times, two people away from having 100 people in my chat, okay? It can be done, and I'm not even a big channel. I've only got 3,200 subs. If I can do it, and these channels out there that are claiming they're legit, they got 20, 30,000 subs, well, you should be able to have two, 300 people in your channel at all times, no problem. But why can't you get that many people in? I've already told you why. I've already told you why. He says he can't go out and film because he doesn't have a gimbal. You don't need it. You don't need shit but a cell phone to go out and record. Do you know how many times that I've been out and about and had great live streams where I just streamed from my phone? hanging it in the Camaro when I drive down the street. I had 72 people in my live stream the last time I drove this car down the street. And all I did was go live on my phone and put it in a stand up in my windshield. And all you guys got to see was from the windshield out to the hood of the car, me just driving down the street. Everybody loved that. I ain't got no damn gimbal. I don't even know what the hell a gimbal is, whatever that is you're talking about. But I can tell you like this, you don't need nothing but a cell phone. I know some channels out there that everything they do is from a simple cell phone and have some of the greatest content and some of the biggest channels out there. Exactly. I was just about to say that, Kings RC, but you beat me to it. That's what you call excuses. He loves to make excuses of why this, why that. Well, I'm going to tell you like this. When all your life is is nothing but a big failure and one big excuse, then that's why you have happen what happens. I ain't never made excuses for anything. And many of you have sat with me over the past five years and listened to everything that I've had to talk about. Will I ever sit here and make excuses about stuff? I've never once sat here, nor will I ever, and say, damn, I've only got 10 people watching. Why can't I have more? Look, if people want to watch what I do, then they'll come in. If they don't want to watch, then they're not going to come in. But is that for me to sit here and bitch cry and complain because I've only got 10 people when I could probably have 100 people? Look, people got shit to do. Not everybody wants to spend their life on YouTube watching what somebody else is doing. Okay? That's facts. That's facts. The problem is more people make excuses instead of trying to make solutions. Okay? And that's one thing I've always done. If there's something I can't do, I'm not going to sit and complain about it, but I'll find a solution to get it accomplished. And if I can't do it on my own, then I'll ask somebody. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't too proud to beg for help, okay? I've asked a lot of people for help, even when it comes to RC, because I don't know everything in the RC hobby. When it comes to a lot of the stuff I do, I damn sure will try to figure it out on my own. That is first and foremost. But if I absolutely just can't get it figured out, but I know someone has the same platform or has already done what I'm trying to do, then I'll say, hey, man, how do you do this? And those people are just as much obliged to help me as I am to help everybody else. 
that's some of the key skills in YouTube that a lot of people forget about. Okay. And I'm going to tell you like this. I get tired of hearing that excuse that, well, I don't know why my channel sucks when all I've ever tried to do was just help everybody grow their YouTube channel. What have you done to help anybody grow their YouTube channel? Do you think that just because you say, hey, welcome to the chat, let's drop your link. That's not helping anybody grow. It's not. I don't care what anybody says. You got to promote them nonstop. You got to get your people to go and watch their videos. Hit that thumbs up. Watch three minutes of the video. You got to get them. To, you got to get the people that you're promoting to interact with others. So those others will interact with them. But just saying, hi, welcome to the chat. Let me drop your link. That ain't doing shit for nobody. Because I'm going to tell you, this is no lie, guys. This is why I don't like growth streams. And I'm not trying to talk bad about anybody in particular out there that has a growth stream. Because there are some of them streams that they have made work for them. The ones like that clown that's failing, okay, he's his own downfall. But I'm going to tell you like this, nine times out of ten, most people only use growth streams because growth streams make everybody a moderator. They're not there to support you. They're there for themselves. And this is what happens. Hi, welcome to the stream. Let's drop your link. Let's give you a blue wrench. Let's make you a moderator. Once you do that, that person is going to copy and paste their own link till they get bored. And then they're going to bounce. And then they're going to go to the next stream. So what ends up happening, and this is just my opinion on it, from what I've experienced and what I've seen, people just use growth streams to their advantage. That's their way of growing. All they want you to do is give them a wrench so that they can go in and drop their own link. And when they're done with your channel, that's why they don't come back. If your channel was so great, like some people claim to be, why ain't people showing the love to your channel? Why do you not have the same people coming back every time? Why ain't you getting no super chats? Nobody's donating to you. I'm just going to say it like this. Someone tell me if I'm wrong. If your channel ain't getting no super chats, but yet you claim to have a great support and community, it can be one of two things. Either everybody's just broke, okay, which very well could be. You just might have that type of community that are just small people that don't have money and they can't super chat you. But if people really like what you do, someone. At least one person will super chat you here and there. You got channels out there that don't get any recognition. No super chats. Nobody watches them. Obviously, it's because your shit sucks. I'm just going to say it like that. That's 100% truth. Your shit sucks. Okay? Your shit is boring. It's boring. And I've heard people say, well, I don't think my stuff's boring. Well, you might not think your stuff is boring. But everybody else does because you watching your own live stream does not give you 30, 40 people in your chat. It's everybody else that comes in that you're entertaining, giving them something worth watching. Okay, period. Kings RC, exactly. And that's one thing I've always tried to teach people. A lot of people never knew growth streams even existed until they came to my channel. Okay, and, and talking about it. He says he feels used. He's helped people grow, but got nothing back. You know why that is, Sherry? Because he did it the wrong way. He thought that if he took money and went out and super chatted a bunch of channels, that was going to bring him tons of followers. You were trying to buy. You were trying to pay off other people to come to your chat. <laughs> That's... <coughs> That's exactly what he was doing. That is definitely, definitely the wrong way to do it. If you have to pay people to be your friend or support you, then they ain't your fucking friends to begin with. I can't be any more clear than that. But see, a lot of people out on YouTube, they think that, well, if I go here and drop a $100 super chat in this community because there's uh, 100 people in here watching this guy, let me go in there and dump 100 bucks. Maybe then people come check out my channel because now they know I got money. No, 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 no. They ain't gonna, they ain't gonna come to you because of your channel. They're gonna come to you because they know you got money. And I'm gonna tell you what, that's what happened with a few people out there. You guys will hear about that on Keith Jenkins' channel when we go live tonight and he interviews me because we're gonna talk about that. That's the problem. 
I get tired of hearing these people say, oh, I got taken advantage of. Everybody just shit on me when I went out and I super chatted so many people out there. And then still nobody came to my channel. Look, if you think by super chatting people is going to get people to come to your channel, you're solely mistaken. You got to have content to watch. Do the super chats help? Yeah, if you're super chatting somebody, super chat them for a reason. Because you love what they're doing. Don't super chat them just because you think it's going to gain you a following. Because trust me, we all are smart enough to know that that's how the world is. That when you go out and throw out large sums of money into channels, that's how people are going to remember you. Give them something more memorable by great content. Not your pocketbook, okay? Super chatting is fine. Even if nobody throws out any super chats ever. As long as you still got good content to watch, you're still going to gain a following, okay? You're still going to gain a following. It's the way it is. But that's what's crazy. Don't try to buy people off. Todd RC Ohio, your stuff's not boring. Your stuff is not boring. It's 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 far from boring. But on that channel, what's up, E Moron? But like on you know on that channel we've been talking about, he's always complaining. Why doesn't anybody super chat me? How come I get those super chat wars? Nobody views my streams. That's your own downfall. If you ain't got no fucking content to watch, then ain't nobody going to come to your stream. That's just the way it is. People need to have content. You got to give someone something to watch in order for them to come to your stream. Take example, be more on here. I watch a lot of his content. Naturally, the guy's drunk half the time when he's on his stream, but it's entertaining. He's giving people something to watch, and that's why a lot of people will watch it. David R.C. says, Kelly made him an admin. Sausage Dave is over there. Over in who, whose channel are you talking about, David R.C.? And Kelly's? Kelly, Kelly's channel is a disaster. It's a failed channel. It's boring. There's nothing there. That channel crashed and burned a long time ago. Oh, yeah, David R.C., Pretty much the only thing that Kelly's channel is used for, that's where all the YouTube rejects go to. All the YouTube rejects go to that channel because they've been exiled from all the good channels out there. That's the only reason why he's got any of them people over there. Because they're the same drama queens that want to go listen to a, 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 another drama queen. They all stick together, snakes in the grass. Hey, be more on. I wish this was a green screen, but if it was a green screen, I wouldn't be able to lean on it or knock on it. It's a real car, my man. Green screens, green screens. I do love when people say that. They're like, man, I love your green screen. That's a hell of a green screen. This is all real. All the banners hanging. The car is real. There ain't no green screen here. Uh, what's in a box? Sa sausage Dick and Kelly, the next dynamic duo. That is funny. Be more on. I don't know jack shit about 3D screen, green screens. I didn't even know what a green screen was till about two months ago. I thought it was kind of funny because people were asking me if this was a green screen. I'm like, oh, this ain't this ain't no damn green screen. It ain't no green screen. It's a cardboard cutout. <laughs> Can't run your pecker on a green screen car. Exactly. Exactly. That is the truth. That is the truth. But. 
I think it's kind of funny because a lot of people get jealous. They're like, oh, man, that guy thinks he's got great content. The only thing that he's got going for him is his green screen in the background, everybody to look at the car. I'm like, when the fuck was this a goddamn green screen? Jealous much? Because you can't afford a car like that? People always show how jealous they are of others by the comments they make. And I've, I've heard it all with the green screen. I built the, this green screen right here. I built it from the ground up with my own two hands and $80,000 later. So ain't no fucking green screen here. Oh, be more Ron. You're good. I, I know you were just playing around my man. It's all good. I've been watching a lot of your streams lately. I come in and say hi to you quite a few times, but I don't think you ever see me because you're usually pretty lit. How are you enjoying your vacation abroad, my man? You'll probably be coming back home in a couple of weeks, I imagine, huh? Give me a second, guys. I'm going to grab a drink real quick. I don't want to fall into my green screen real quick. Be right back. What's even funnier is when I tell people it's not a green screen, they're like, man, it's got to be a green screen. Try walking around in the sex tours area of the world with a girlfriend and you will see how much people would love uh, to fuck you up. Yeah, exactly. Got to be careful. Got to be careful. But I'll tell you like this. You know, it's not a green screen when you can pop the hood on it, Okay. Green screen's hoods don't pop up. Man, this thing needs to be washed. A lot of dust on this damn thing. It's time to pull this thing out and give her a wash and a wax. And... Yeah, but definitely for those of you wondering, it ain't no, it ain't no damn green screen. Be more on you gotten into three fights. You gotta watch being uh being overseas, man. A lot of them countries don't take uh, kindly to foreigners. Xavier's adventures. They're killing it with these new 3D screens. Yeah. It's a good looking car, and I know nothing about cars. Yeah, we can always teach you about cars. That's no problem. That's no problem. Does anybody want to come up on the panel? I am still on the stream yard. I'll drop the link if anybody wants to come up on the panel. Just let me know if anybody's free who wants to come up. I dropped the link two hours ago because we're at this, what, three, three and a half hours now? It's not green. It's a yellow screen. Come on, guys. Are you blind? <laughs> My man Pete. That's funny. It's all zip tied together. No. Oh, what time is it? Got three and a half hours till I'm up on Keith Jenkins' panel. So again, for those of you guys that are going to be uh, going to be free at six thirty, Keith Jenkins is going to be interviewing me on his panel. So hopefully, you guys can make it if you choose to. Want to go check that live stream out? Because it's three, three o'clock now, so three and a half hours. I'll be getting uh, interviewed by Keith Jenkins on this panel. Just hope I don't start coughing like crazy and my damn cold starts acting up. Anybody want to come up on the panel? Just using today as a hangout since I worked on everything I already had to work on. For those of you guys that are coming in late, I'll give you one more quick overview of what we did on the new MCD platform today. Just so you guys can see. 
Okay, it's coming along. Today we went ahead, we did the back brace here, all right, and then we got this front brace finally installed. So everything that we've done so far, the other day we did the top plate, we did the uh, aluminum, aluminum center section, top brake plate, then we put on the rear plate here, did the front top brace, but then we did uh, this top plate and then the down bar underneath it. Okay, we got all the uh, rear aluminum hubs on. Now I got to start doing the front aluminum hubs and the aluminum caster blocks. And then we're going to start prepping uh, prepping the engine, the new Taylor engine. I got to put together a bunch of stuff on that to get, uh, get that engine ready to go in. Let me get this set back up behind the computer. I know there are some new people coming in that didn't get to see earlier on in the stream what we've been working on. So that's what we've been so far. <laughs> Moon over Miami. Yeah, that green screen's got some great sound effects, I'll tell you that. Yeah, I've been I've been hearing that a lot lately, but I get it. A lot of people are not used to seeing someone that does YouTube that has, you know, a nice flashy car sitting in the background. So a lot of people naturally think that it's it's a green screen, but you guys that have been with me for five years now in this channel had that car. I, I built that car going, let me see, when did I start it? 2008? 2008 or 2009 2008 or 2009 is when i started building it ryan what's going on good to see you my man nitro freak get yourself a nice pressure washer good to have oh i've got one i've got one I've got one sitting in the corner over there on the other side of the car but i don't stick a pressure washer on this because the clear coat i do this all by hand all by hand. I use special rags to wipe down the body and all that. Nothing abrasive, nothing that could possibly drag dust or dirt across it. Yeah, I'm very meticulous with that car. Even when I shine all the chrome under the hood and everything, microfiber towels only. Again, I appreciate everybody hitting the thumbs up on the stream. Once again, thank you to every one of you guys that have been donating all day today. Thank you. Thank you very much. You guys have been killing it today, as you always do on my streams. Like I said, guys, that's why I value each and every one of y'all. Just for being here. Just for being here is good enough for me. As long as I got people to talk to when I go live, that's all I care about. Keeping it. Keeping it fun. Keeping it fun. That's what it's all about. You know, some people get really serious with YouTube and stuff. YouTube ain't that serious, guys. This is a platform to have fun on. Just meet new people around the world. Have a good time. Talk at one another. All that stuff. Some people just get too... Uh, too obsessed with it. I, th I think that's one of the biggest problems with a lot of people on YouTube. When you're obsessed with YouTube and you're not getting what you want, that's why it goes south for you. Freak, if you need anything high quality car care stuff, let me know. That's how I've made my money many years. Yeah, yeah, I, I know you're into detail and I'm going to have to talk to you about some of that stuff because I, I want to try some, some different products that are on the market. One thing I want to do this year, I, I want to do ceramic coating on it. I see that's becoming a very, very uh, popular thing, the ceramic coating. This car needs it. But the car, th this paint job looks as beautiful as it does today as it was. This car, I started building it in 2008, and I think it was actually painted mid-2010. So, I mean, 
this thing is beautiful when it's washed and waxed, but I definitely want to do the, uh, I want to do a ceramic coating on it. Big John D, you want to come up on the panel? Let's get Big John D up here, some guys. Anybody want to come up on the panel? I'll drop the link. Let me know if any of y'all want to come up. We are on the stream yard. That's always good content, too. When you have panels, people love the panels to get other people's point of views and stuff. You guys are more than welcome to come up and talk about whatever. You can give me your guys' thoughts on what we've been talking about today, wherever you also choose. I, mean, I don't care if nobody wants to come up on the panel or not. It'll make a difference to me. <sighs> Dion, you're back. Boy won't take his nap. Well, that's good. You just get to enjoy some more of the Nitro Freak channel. Mine's before yours. I want a chair, chair style happy birthday song. Yeah, what's in the box? I'll definitely get with you on that, Mister Two Percent. Yeah, the casino. Are you gonna Are you gonna hit it big? Yeah, I hear a lot of people say that. I'm so lucky I can go into a casino and win big fourteen times in a row. Well, why the hell are you so broke? When people say that, why the hell are you so broke? There's a link if anybody wants to come up on the panel. I'm going to start working this upcoming week on some new intros got to change it up come up with some new stuff that's another thing with youtube man you always got you always got to come up with something new you can't just do the same old stuff that's another big part of youtube too guys um got to keep it fun got to keep it interesting <sighs> EKJ, what's going on? All right, Pete, go watch some Child's Play movies. Appreciate you being here, my man. Thank you for the donations. Very, very much, much appreciated, my man. Always, always. Big, big supporter of the channel. You and Nadia, have a good night. We'll definitely see you on the next one, my man. Always, always. Big ups to you for coming in, supporting the channel, my man. <laughs> I don't know, I'm deciding, debating on whether or not I want to continue on and doing the hubs on the new MCD, so. I need to put the radio tray back in it as well, since we got all the new send it, send it servos in and all that good stuff. I'm very excited about this fist scale to get this one together and start running it. I think that thing's going to be a beast with the Taylor engine. I think it'll be a nice platform. Nice platform. Because I've always wanted to try a fist scale buggy. And finally got to own one after they discontinued the five Bs. So far, I'm very impressed with the quality, the usability of everything. But that's why I'm just building it slowly, not being in a hurry, because we still got the rest of the winter to get through before it's even time to go run any of that stuff. 
I would continue on with the hubs, man. Much more interesting than Kelly Cockwell. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <clears throat> I know. That's why I stopped talking about it. I only brought it up only because people were mentioning it in the chat, asking me specific questions about them. So, of course, I threw my two cents in. I know not everybody likes hearing about it, but. It fades off. It fades off. I've been much happier when I can kick this cold. I know I'm debating on whether or not to start the hubs. But. I don't think I'm going to do it today. I'll probably go live again tomorrow. Um, yeah, we'll, pro we'll probably go live again tomorrow. Where if I go live tomorrow, that live feed will be just all um, straight up doing the hubs. We'll get the radio tray in. We might even start prepping the Taylor engine to go in it tomorrow as well. Yeah, I'm over from Miami. I was able to find the bolts at uh, Home Depot. Home Depot. Curtis Vatigan, what's going on, my man? Good to see you. Yeah, I'm over from Miami. The, oh, give you a quick rundown. I know a lot of you guys the last time you were in the live stream. So this is what we did today. We ended up getting the uh, the top the top cross brace on it. All right, connected to the top plate center section. But these were the bolts that I had to go get because when I opened up the package, the mounting hardware that they gave me was the wrong ones. They were all too short, so I couldn't mount this top plate for the brake rods and all that stuff. So luckily, Home Depot had the, the three mil hex heads, as I call them. But I know a lot of people weren't sure if uh, they would even have them. I was surprised that they had them. So I was able to get that, get the brake plate mounted down. And earlier on in the stream, we did this brace. And then we got the, uh, the back brace on. And, of course, then when we did the top brake plate, we did the aluminum center towers and stuff. So that's where we're at right now. Like I said, the next thing we're going to roll on with, we're going to do the aluminum caster blocks on the hubs. Aluminum caster blocks and then do the the hubs themselves. Which this rig probably really doesn't need them. The plastics are beefy and fine. But being that it's a new platform, I always go out and get add-on stuff that I like. My own personal touches to my rigs as everybody else does. Um, but I'm loving this new MCD buggy, so very excited to keep, keep it going. My man, Keith Jenkins, I'm back in the house. What's going on, Keith? Keith, are you at work or are you home for the day? I was waiting for you to call me last night, my man. You must have fell asleep on me. But that's where we're at so far, guys. So just to give you guys a little heads up. Once again, I appreciate everybody still hanging out. We had a little little bit of a super chat war going on earlier. Again, I want to thank everybody for that. Always like to thank everybody taking the time out of their Saturdays to come in, watch the channel. Curtis Vatigan says, looking good. Appreciate that, Curtis. I know a lot of people haven't caught a lot of my last couple of live streams. So if you missed the unboxing, we unboxed a new Taylor engine, a new Axis stand. We picked up the new MCD RR5 Max Pro buggy. That's what we've been working on for the past week. Um, we've had a lot going on, a lot going on. But we really haven't done any extensive RC stuff for a while, but of course, all this stuff, it took me two months from the time I ordered this damn thing. It took, took me two months to get it, which, you know, that happens sometimes, but I'm very excited that I got it now. Dion, I think he's buying all this RC stuff with our donations. Where the hell do you think that money's going? 
You're kidding. <laughs> God, I hate being sick. Man, fucking cold is killing me. <laughs> Dion, that's one hell of a very good observation, my man. Jesus. Uh, that's why I have to thank you guys so much. You guys are making it possible for me to pick up new stuff. That's how we do it. You guys donate. I buy new stuff. It creates great content. Stuff you guys get to see. That's just how it works, you ass clown. Dion always got jokes. GWT, Keith Jenkins sent out the notification. He set that live stream up like two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. You probably won't get a notification physically to your YouTube till about 30 minutes out before it starts. Go to Keith Jenkins' channel, click on his live feed section, and then you can go and click get notification because he's already got it. He's already got it set up. It's already set up and in queue. So it's there. You just we're just waiting until 630 for it to for Keith to kick it off. <sighs> exactly, Mr. Two Percent. We're fighting off colds organically. Organically. Speaking of that, give me a second. I got to go grab me a cough drop real quick, guys. I'll be right back. I got to run into the bedroom. Let me put a little bit of tunes on for you for a minute. I'll be right back. I got to make sure I have my damn, my cough drops ready for tonight when I get up on Keith's panel, man, because this is going to be rough. Hate getting sick. Our ski Scotty Z, what's going on? I'm new to the channel. Welcome, welcome. RC Scotty, what kind of RCs do you do? Always good to see new people. That's a new name. Appreciate you subbing to the channel. So that's a beautiful background. It's a real background. This is actually a real car sitting behind me. It's not a green screen. Not a green screen. Okay, do A scale nitro. Nice. We do a little bit of A scale nitro ourselves. If you're not familiar with the channel, we do we do a lot of a lot of A scale nitro stuff. All right, we do buggies and truggies. I do a lot of fifth scale gas trucks as well. We got an Outlaw 5T MCD buggy. Of course, we keep. Tons and tons of parts on the walls to keep my, my own little my own little hobby shop in here. All right. We keep quite an array of uh, receivers, nitro engines all through. We always have a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. Also, always keep forgetting to show love to my Baja sitting over here in the corner. But uh, 
I've been catching up on your old videos. Yeah, I've, I've been noticed. I've been getting a lot of, a lot of attention to my old stuff. That's good to see. I didn't think anybody was watching all any of my a scale racing videos and bashing videos and tech vids and all that stuff. But I've been seeing lately. Uh, that's been gaining a lot of attention. I think a lot of my older stuff is starting to get as much attention as my new stuff. Dan, if it's real, why can't you get in it? Oh, I can get in it. I can get in it. We talked about your Camaro. I have the two. Th oh, okay. I, I, that's right. I remember you now. You got the Z06. Nice. Nice. Shane, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. I love your fist scale shorts. I appreciate that, my man. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hey, Dion, here's one for you. You think this is a green screen? Can you put headlights on on a green screen, my man? How about that? Can't turn headlights on on a green screen now, can you? That will be pretty funny, though. You just have, have one LED and you can light it up <laughs> on your green screen. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, I need to do some more fist scale So I need to do some more shorts um, in general. I ain't really been posting no shorts lately. I posted a short the other day for like the first time in a couple months. But, uh, yes, it is an American piece of muscle. 1970 SS Camaro. You don't get more American muscle than that. I think you got your organization built, built in you from your service. <laughs> right, right. That is true. The hell you guys over there posting in the Discord? I see yo. Take a look at that real quick. I gotta use my phone to see what the hell that was. You wanna see I see seen y'all pull some pictures over there. I can shake this cold in a few days. I'm going back home, breaking in. Red Scuderia Gen 2. Yeah, I've been looking at the Gen 3s. They look nice. Yeah, I was about to ask you the same thing. Hey, Dion, how, 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 many, how many more days you got to wait till you can change back your name back to Dion? Seven more days? Oh, that's right. It's, it's only been about a week since you did that. I didn't know that if you change your name, YouTube makes you wait two weeks now. Of course, I've never changed my name. I've always left my name the same forever. <sighs> I think what I'm going to start doing after Christmas... We're going to start bringing back a scale nitro content. I know a lot of people have been asking me about that. Am I going to start doing stuff on uh, a scale nitro anymore? We are going to be bringing back a scale nitro. So that will be coming. Jackie loves it. She told me to keep, keep this name. That is a classic name, Dion. That is a classic name. Oh, man. Yeah, King's RC. I remember when he used to change his name to that. Thank God he didn't do that. Oh, my God. He'd have been stuck with that name for two weeks. I wouldn't even have got on YouTube if that, if that would have happened. If his name got stuck on that name for two weeks, I'd have been like, fuck this. 
He'd have had to make up a whole new account. That would have been freaking hilarious. That would have been hilarious. If anybody wants to come up on the panel and BS, there's the link. I'm surprised ain't none of y'all tried to come up on the panel yet. Ain't nobody has. What y'all sitting? Y'all probably sitting on couches covered up with, with snuggies and stuff. Listening to the channel, watching TV and shit. I feel two-faced when you made jokes. <laughs> Hey, Sherry, I, I wouldn't have felt two face. It was funny shit. Funny shit's supposed to make you laugh. It's supposed to make you laugh. Sherry, don't ever feel that way. You know the truth. I know you just watch that channel just for content, probably because you're bored. But damn, there are there are there is other stuff out there to watch. I get it. You're a kind hearted person. You feel sorry for him. So you try to be that savior and there's nothing wrong with that. There, 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 there isn't. <coughs> it took me a little while to figure out why you do what you do, but I think I kind of grasp the fact of it now. Um, but it's all good. You're a real guy. Not some little sissy talking about crawlers. <laughs> RC Scotty. I appreciate that. Come on, hit accept. Shane, what's going on? Hey, what's up, buddy? How the hell you been? All good. All good, man. It's all good How's here. Everything? Like I told you, I was painting the living room today before Christmas. And you guys <laughs> helped me. You guys helped me because I've been listening like the radio. <laughs> how much how much did you get done? It I'm all primed. I'm all primed nice. to have to add color now. Cool, but it's a cool, big cool. living room. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, it's cool. So what you doing with your time now that you're not doing YouTube anymore? You picked up any other hobbies or anything? Or are you just sitting back well, chilling enjoying life? Well, don't forget, I, I've been rebuilding my grandparents' home here, right? All by my own hands, so. Oh, wow. Uh yeah, and I got away from it. I got away from it with YouTube. Give me one, you know, give me one, give me one second. RC Scotty, I appreciate that donation. Thank you, thank you very much, my man. I appreciate it. This is for you. Thank you very much for that, buddy. Now, so I, I I didn't know that you were redoing a house. Oh, I, this has been this has been ten years already. <laughs> ah, okay. Yeah, you know, but you know, uh, before Christmas, uh, she wanted it done, so I'm on a deadline. Like I told you, when I first come in, I'm on a super deadline, and. She came home already, so she and she was like, "Oh my God, you got that much done!" So now I'm having a beer. <laughs> nice, yeah, and relaxing. So, but I'll show you. That's a big room. Yeah, it's huge. Good lord. <laughs> so, and how many days are we before Christmas? Right. Yeah. Yeah. It's. Closing in on us pretty damn quick. Yeah. I wish you would ask me in November. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I could have got a but, much more head start on it for sure. Well, it would have been done, right? Now I'm like, you know, now I'm, yeah, now I'm rushing. But how's, how's I just wanted to come up and say, uh, actually, you know what? We're. We still, here in Nova Scotia, Canada, we still have no snow yet. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, I and, was going to ask you if you guys got any crazy snow there yet. No, and Buffalo got hit hammered, and 
Oh, and yeah. you guys down in the States, a lot of the spots just got hammered. And even up here in Canada on the West Coast and uh, even Central, they got hammered. And we haven't even been touched. Actually, we had a snowstorm that hit four of the counties around us, but not us. <laughs> so, wow. and they got hammered and didn't even touch us. We still got no snow on the ground. But yeah, my bro- my brother lives in uh lives in Buffalo. Man, they got like eighteen inches oh. all at eighteen. I think it was like eighteen inches for the first couple of hours all in one day. Man, they got snowed in bad. They got hammered, just hammered. Yeah, they did. Usually that usually that happens to us, right? Up here yeah. in, in yeah. our area, usually we're hammered. But you know, I got I I've had the snow uh, usually by this time. I've I've had the snowblower out at least five times. Yeah, my brother was sending me pictures of his driveway. He's got a long driveway that comes off a main road leading back to his house. It took him almost nine hours, he said, to snowblow out his vehicles out to the road so that they could even get to the main roads, but still couldn't go anywhere because none of the plows had came through and they they were snowing (laughs) for days. Yeah, yeah we've been there. We do that. We do that every year here. But this yeah. year, like I said, it's just abnormal. This year is just, it's wacky. I don't know what it is. That's crazy. But yeah, it is. It's really, like I said, so many areas around us got hammered. And we haven't, now it's actually raining out right now in our, in our area. It's raining. Yeah, it so. rained here for the past three days. Yeah. How's the wife and son doing? Everybody's good. Everybody's good, Nitro. Everybody's awesome. Good to hear. Yeah. Good to hear. Yep. Yeah. You know, yeah. it's all I good. Thought, yeah, I didn't I didn't even know for about almost shit. It was probably about a week, two weeks that you had left YouTube. You know, I was always I watching. Just, you know what? You know what? I'll tell you, Nitro. I hovered over that. I hovered over that delete button. And I'm telling you. You know, I've I've also had, you know, I've also been able to learn over my years to learn how to think. And I thought about it for about an hour, man. And then I was like, yeah, I'm done. And I pressed it and they were like, they and, you know, when you press that delete, when you press that YouTube delete, they even ask you a third time. They yeah, even say, yeah. are you sure you want to do this, man? And I went, yeah. Well, um, you, you were almost, you were very close to a thousand subs too. That's what I thought was strange. I mean, I, I didn't. I, I still know really four, don't, I know three, yeah. Yeah, I, I yeah. still really don't know why you left YouTube. I mean, I heard some people. Hey, it. hey, you, you, t- we talked about it. You've talked about it on, you've, you've, you've talked about it. I got on YouTube, like I said, guys, uh, and my past history, I'm not going to get into it, but. Uh, the day I got on YouTube, the day before that, I had a 12 gauge shotgun sitting in my mouth. Yeah, I, I right? had heard. Yeah, I, I kind of heard. Some you know, stuff. sorry about that, but yeah, yeah. And I mean, I kind of had a, I kind of had a feeling why you left it, but that, that's why I didn't push the issue or really ask anybody. Hmm. I just, I really hadn't talked to anybody for almost a week when you were gone. Because I remember one morning I was in your live stream. Matter of fact, I was up on your panel that day, and then hmm. like the next morning. You were gone. And then a couple of yeah. people said, yeah. well, he's he's done with YouTube. And I didn't know if you were just oh, taking yeah. a break. Well, or I, not not only YouTube, control. not only YouTube, I, I deleted. Uh, don't forget, I, I didn't touch uh, social media until I got on this. Yeah. yeah. Uh, nine months ago. Right. I never even touched it. I my wife does. My son does. And, you know, when I was I'm retired. Don't forget, I'm retired. Yeah. And, you know, and. Uh, you know, I did, when I worked, I had to deal with it, but that was work and work was horrible. So when I got out of my job after my career in, uh, retired, um, you know, uh, I didn't want nothing to do with it. It was because it was so horrible at my job. Communications yeah. was horrible. Right. But hey, some people are better yeah. off, you know, without YouTube. I mean, if you're enjoying life, less stress, or drama and all that shit, more power to you. Buddy. Well, that, and that's what it got into. That's what it got into because, yeah. you know, my, my profession, all it was was drama. My profession, yeah. all it was was drama. And it was it was always battling somebody. That was my profession was always, you know, in front of councils and in front of people 
fighting for some or, you know, fighting for myself or fighting for other people. And people were treated like shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I was like, you know what? You know, you can't do that to people. You shouldn't do that to people. But. And then YouTube got like that. <laughs> when I got on YouTube at first, it was all butterflies and pigtails and kissing each other. But then it, it started turning around to where like you like you've been through it. You've already talked about it. Fakes and people that are just not they, they sit there and say one thing and do the other. Yeah, yeah. Right. That's one that's one thing that's gone on a lot in YouTube, you know. People yeah. creating drama when it doesn't need to be created, trying to snake people from others' communities. I mean, it YouTube just goes more and more downhill every day. There's very few of us that keep up with it, keep continuing doing what we do. You know, I've I've experienced it all, but I've just over time I've learned not to let it bother me. I'm not but but you know, to you know, Nitro, you're a veteran <laughs> yeah, to, yeah. you know, a lot of us, right? So, oh. you know, and everything you said, you know, like I said, I, I still, I'm still on, I, like I, I got my channel started again just because, you know, I missed you guys, but I had to, I had to get away from it. I had to just shut down, re recalculate. And then, then I was like, once I recalculate and start getting stuff done again, I can go back and still support you guys. Yeah, there ain't nothing wrong with that. You don't got to do live feeds. You just use a support yeah. channel to go in and hang out and talk to the people you like talking to. You ain't got to do it. On, you know, you don't. You ain't got to have your well, own channel to do it. You know, I, you know, doing the living room today. Like I told you, painting this, priming this living room out. Um, you know, I wanted something to listen to. Yeah. <laughs> right. And you were on, and I clicked it on, and like I said, when the time that i've been on your live and listening to everybody what's in the box and you know and shadow everybody in the chat all the you know sherry everybody that's in there um you know i get my living room prime so thanks again <laughs> oh no problem man no problem yeah i try to make my right. stuff entertaining i never no. say and i got even, the best even even, the best even wrenching even there. wrenching on that stuff even wrenching on that stuff nitro i like to watch because you're not covered in grease you're not under a car you're not under a vehicle where you can't exactly. see nothing you can actually see what you're doing and yeah. it's kind of it's kind of the same idea as the real big stuff that's why they call it fifth scale or what the hell what's tenth scale is that a go-kart how big is no, no, that no. tenth scale is even smaller it's the smaller vehicle. oh is it smaller okay yeah okay yeah okay yeah, that makes smart. sense because when when Buddy said it on your chat, I don't know it, but when he said it, I thought, "Geez, is that bigger?" Because <laughs> I was like, yeah. "That'd be a go kart," you know. People could fit in that. But anyway, Nitro, I just wanted to come up and uh, thank you for helping me out with the living room. Hey, no problem, my man. And I'm everybody in the chat, it was it was awesome, man. It was uh, it was a lot of fun. I appreciate you coming up and saying hello. It's good to see you, my man. It's been a while. Yeah, it's been quite a while. And yeah. uh, I'll I'll be in the background. All right. Take no care, problem. bro. Have a good one. Take care, Nitro. Yep. If anybody else wants to stop up, you guys are more than welcome to. I'm probably going to run this maybe about another 15, 20 minutes. And then uh, we'll have to get ready to shut it down because I got a few things I got to do. And I got to see if Keith Jenkins is free. I got to give him a phone call. We got to talk about a few things. But yeah, it's definitely always, always good to see people you don't get to see all the time. I know I was always a big supporter of Great Farmer Freelance's channel. It always does suck when good channels go away, but naturally sometimes that happens. And he had a really good channel to watch in the mornings when you get up, have your coffee, your energy drinks, whatever it is you did to get your day started. I do got to say this. I don't see anybody else doing what he did anymore. There are a few people that try to do some morning live streams, but they're not definitely not as consistent as uh, Shane was.
Rusty, I ain't no badass. I'm just me. I'm just me. Just the average YouTuber, just getting on a camera, having fun, showing y'all what I do. Hell, and half the time, I'm not even wrenching on stuff. We just sit up here and talk bullshit with each other, BS, whatever. Social media platform, that's what it's all about. Just meeting new people, saying hello, seeing what everybody's up to. Sherry, are you getting confused over there? Are there conversations? <laughs> Sometimes that happens. Some of these guys will be so random about stuff, it doesn't make sense sometimes. The more you follow it, you'll, you'll, you'll catch on. You'll catch on. It's kind of hard at first. GWT, I agree. Very hard to copy Shane's morning show. Um, I know I used to go up there a lot. Fat Ninja, before he passed away, used to go up there a lot. There's a lot of good people on his channel. You know, it's one of them things, you know, it doesn't always work out for everybody. Some people, you know, they don't tolerate shit the way others can. You know, I've had my doubts in the past whether, whether or not I keep con continuing to do YouTube, but I'm a big clown and a jokester like some of the other people. So, you know, it's always... I guess it's always been easy for me to keep continuing on with YouTube. I, I'm used to, you know, the bullshit that goes on on social media. I've had to deal with it throughout my whole military career and stuff as far back as social media went. But some people make the best of it. Some people, you know, they just say, you know what, this isn't worth my time. And naturally, a lot of the good channels end up going away you know, due to different things. And it's not always what goes on on YouTube. Sometimes it's just everyday life. Everyday life. Gas monkey, exactly. Take it with a with a grain of salt. Good to see you, gas monkey. I'm likely going to miss, miss Keith's dreams. Wish him all the best from me. Uh, I will, Sherry. I will. Yeah, he still roughly has about, it's 3.44 here. We're kicking it off at 6.30. So, roughly two, roughly two and a half hours to go. Roughly two and a half hours to go. Give me a second. I'm just going through, getting caught up on everybody's comments. <sighs> Todd, you're too funny. How the hell did you get the beans above the Franks? <laughs> it's one hell of a funny-ass movie. Something about Mary. Ben Stiller. Zips up his damn dick in his zipper. Woo! I tell you what, when I saw that part of that movie, that made me drop to my knees. That make any grown man drop to his knees. You see some shit like that. Oh, my God. That was enough to be like, damn. I don't know. Anybody got any topics they want to bring up? I'm going to talk for a few more minutes before we close it out. We've been live for four hours, 10 minutes. I think that's long enough. Usually I try to keep them around three hours so we've gone past an extra hour than what I normally try to do but it always seems later on in the evening when everybody starts coming in but it's all good we'll we'll probably end up going live again tomorrow since uh I do want to work on the hubs get the aluminum hubs going on the MCD Dion, your guess is about as good as mine with the whole birdhouse stuff that's going on in the Discord. Those guys are so random. So sometimes it's uh, 
It's funny. Yeah, Sherry, that, that, that happens at times. You know, some people, they just got to sit back and, you know, think about life. But it's definitely, definitely good to see that uh, Shane's doing well. I was real happy to see him that, you know, he's even still watching the channel. You know, a lot of people, when they leave YouTube, that's it. They don't go back and watch anybody. Most people, when they end it, they're completely, completely done with YouTube. Sometimes it's better just to, you know, sit back and, and just watch others, you know, form of entertainment. But as I've always said, if you got a good channel and you're entertaining and you give people something worth watching, You'll always see them again. They'll come back. Yeah, that's like I tell everybody. I still keep in contact in contact with a lot of my people, even though the past month and a half, I haven't been going live as much as I have been. But I got Facebook, I got Instagram, I got Discord. So there's all I'm, there's always a way for me to keep in contact with everybody. You know, if if you know those of you out there that have alternate social media sites, so. I've been working on playing around with my Instagram a little bit more. I did a did a test run live feed on it. Uh, was that three nights ago? It was actually pretty good. Had twenty people in there. I didn't even expect to have, but about four to five at best. And uh, there was more people watching than I thought there would have been. So, and naturally, one of the questions I got: Oh, you going live on Instagram? We ain't seen you live on YouTube in a while. What's up? And I myself am the same way. You know, I take a break from time to time. You know, I'm known for streaming seven days a week. But even I get burnt out, you know, get burnt out on that, guys. You can only talk about so much stuff for so long. That's why I'm always thankful that a lot of my viewers, you know, bring up topics that we can talk about. Even though the topic sometimes might not be everybody's cup of tea. But at least it's something to talk about, you know, and you're not just sitting around being all quiet and bored and everything. So that does happen. That's why I like doing the panels. A lot of people like panels. You get to see. I want to start doing that with new panels, having discussions on stuff, primarily RC stuff and platforms and engines. I want to get back into, you know, back in the day, I used to do a lot of the technical stuff. You know, rebuilding nitro engines, doing clutches, you know, platform setups and all that stuff. I haven't done any of that in a long, long time because I did so much of it. It's like you can only do it for so long before it's a repeat. But I've learned as time's gone on, I'm getting a lot more and more new subscribers within the RC community that are starting to watch a lot of my old videos and granted, I think a lot of my old stuff, to a point, is better than some of my new stuff. But when I first started this channel, it was all A-scale Nitro. I wasn't even doing fifth scale then. Now that I ventured into fifth scale, naturally a lot of the A-scale Nitro guys didn't care for fifth scale. So, not that it bothers me. I did have a lot of people that stopped watching my channel because fifth scale just wasn't their thing. But like I told everybody, if you're a true supporter, then whether I'm doing fifth scale or nitro, you'll uh, support the channel either way. All right, Dion, we'll see you on the next one, my man. We're going to be shutting this down pretty soon, about another 10 minutes. But we are going to start trying to bring some A scale nitro back. I do get a lot of requests from people. It's like, show your nitro stuff. It's like, all you do now is fist scale. And granted, I love the fist scale. I love the nitro, but one thing I could, I could say, nitro on YouTube has pretty much become a dying breed. There really ain't nobody doing nitro on YouTube anymore. So maybe I can capitalize on that, bring it back, at least to my channel. I don't care about, you know, others. <sighs> If that's what people like watching, that's what I'll bring back. And uh, maybe it'll do some uh, tuning. 
engine teardowns, clutch setups, chassis setups, all that stuff. We'll try to bring some of the A-scale Nitro stuff back. Just the first straight three years of my channel was nothing but A-scale Nitro. And it was a big hit. That's what put me where I'm at today. But naturally, I like to venture out and do other stuff. Once I started, you know, making my footing in the, you know, the fifth scale stuff, naturally, I got hooked on that. And it, it just took, <coughs> excuse me, it took off from there. Um, but I'm to the point now where I, I have everything in the hobby that I want. So really from, you know, here on out, it's just buying stuff, you know, parts here and there, adding to my platforms and making run videos. I think I'm pretty well set on buying platforms. I do want to bring one more new platform to the channel, and that'll be later on in the year. Um, it, it'll, it'll be a Nitro platform. We'll do that. Like I said, we'll see what happens. But naturally, there's going to be people that watch me no matter what I do. I've I've seen that. It's proved itself. Um, Kings RC, I was the same way. Addicted to running Nitro. That's all I ever wanted to do. And I did that for years and years. Even before I started my channel. You know, I've been doing the RC hobby for a long, long time. I wish I'd have started a YouTube channel back when I was, you know, really, really deep into it. Um, but I wasn't much of a social media person. I mean, I watched a lot of YouTube, watched a lot of guys, what they did, but it just really wasn't worth a lot of my time back then because I was doing other stuff. I was still racing motocross, riding quads was building the Camaro at the time that took a lot of my time. So I really wished I'd have started up a YouTube channel when I was going through the early stages of building the Camaro, but Snugster 101, what's going on, my man? Good to see you. I appreciate everybody that's been sharing the stream out. Those of you that have been hitting the thumbs up. Thank you very much. Everybody that's been donating today again, Big, big shout out to all you guys. And as always, my supporters, just for being here. Big thank you to everybody. This is what keeps me doing YouTube, guys. I always have a great crowd. Always a great crowd. We cut up, we laugh. A lot of people say a lot of dumb shit, but even the dumb shit that's said, it's comical and entertaining. It's what keeps it funny. You know, you, you can't always be so serious all the time. Sometimes you just got to have fun what it's all about right but GWT that's someone I haven't seen in a while Jackhammer haven't seen Jackhammer in a while <sighs> Yeah, Kings RC, I was the same way. I always took a lot of pictures on my phone and always said to myself, what the hell am I going to do with all these pictures? That's kind of what led me to, to YouTube, to be able to share what I have. I mean, I was content years ago without doing YouTube. Didn't make a difference. I didn't feel that I needed to broadcast everything that I did. But when I started, you know, meeting a lot of other people through social media and people knew what I had, they're like, dude, you ought to start a YouTube channel. It would be a big hit. You'd get a lot of attention doing the Nitro stuff that you got, the fist scale stuff, all that. So naturally, that's what I did. I said, hell with it. We'll give it a try. I never expected to still be doing YouTube all these years later. So it worked out. It worked out. But. Like I said, we ain't going anywhere. We're going to be here for a long time. I am still toying around with the idea of making a second channel, but this channel ain't going anywhere. 
this is my this is my main channel this channel will always be here this is what the nitro freak was founded on this channel right here i even thought about coming up with a whole new a whole new name but i'm like it really wouldn't make sense because the natural freak is how everybody knows me if i was to change the name that really kind of wouldn't make a whole lot of sense i would like to come up with a new name to incorporate my a scale nitro and the fifth scale gas together to come up with a cool name for the channel since i'm not doing just a scale nitro anymore but naturally i've just always left it at the nitro freak <sighs> That's how everybody knows me. That's how each and every one of you met me as the Nitro Freak. So it is what it is. But anyways, guys, I think we're going to go ahead and wrap it up. We're at four hours, 21 minutes. I think that's long enough. I got some things I got to do. I got to make a couple of phone calls. So um, 6.30 tonight, if, if, if you guys ain't doing nothing, Check out Keith Jenkins. If one of my moderators would drop Keith Jenkins' link, I'd appreciate it. I am going to be a guest on Keith Jenkins' live feed. Um, he is going to be basically interviewing me, um, talking about a bunch of different stuff. So if you guys are free, 6.30, it's 4 o'clock now. So in two and a half hours, check out Keith Jenkins' live feed. I'd appreciate it. He's always a big supporter of all of our channels, so let's try to show him some love. Um, so for those of you that make it over there, you'll see me again. You'll see me up on his channel. But uh, other than that, that's all I got for this live feed. We will go live again tomorrow, continuing on, working on the MCD. So hopefully you guys enjoy that. That will be another wrenching stream. And uh, you guys enjoy the rest of your weekend if I don't see you guys. But um, other than that, as always, I appreciate each and every one of you. Once again, thank you to everybody that donated to the channel. Thank you to everybody that took the time out of their day to come in, support the channel. As always, thank you very much. And always until next time, I am out of here, guys.